Hello and welcome to One Stop Co-op Shop Stream, your one stop for co-op news and playthroughs. And today we're playing through Marvel Champions. What's up, Terrence? How's it going? Oh man, I'm excited. I'm, I'm, you know me. I'm always excited. It's Marvel Champions Friday. Yeah. No, things are, things are going well. Closed on a house on Wednesday, so that was exciting. Congratulations, man. That's awesome. Yeah, and we're headed into a holiday weekend too. I mean, not nearly as exciting as buying a house. But, um, well, I mean, it hauled a weekend of packing and getting ready to move. That's, I feel like that's, that's what this is for me. Well, but it gives you plenty of time to do that, right? Otherwise you'd be yep. doing it in the middle of a, uh, a worse time for you, I feel like. So that's not the worst thing in the world. This, this is the, this, 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 this is the calm before the storm right here for me. <laughs> okay. Nice. Um, well, and so we are going to play against Rhino. What's up with that, Terrence? Why are we playing Rhino? <laughs> like, when you suggested Rhino, I'm like, all right, do people want to see gotta this? You got to go back to the classics, you know? <laughs> I, I know you do a lot of these, like, in the gauntlets. Well, right. I guess you, like, randomize them sometimes. I, well, I've started right? randomizing them recently. But, yes, every gauntlet used to start with Rhino. But, no, it, it's been a while. We did, uh, we did, um, this was, like, the first game I played at Kind of Heroes was a four-player heroic one game of Rhino with, uh, City and Chaos, and it was actually surprisingly pretty fun. I feel like City and Chaos is that modular that has the Rhino minion from Sinister Motives, and then obviously that card just surges, but then all the other cards like trigger things with Rhino. Like he gets to he like schemes and and kind of does some of that stuff. So oh yay! Uh, so 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 more uh, standard set stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. Because he's always out, obviously. So right. Uh, there's there's so no like, those cards fun. will never surge. That's good, I guess. Ish. Yeah. So you get you get Yay. you get that fun. Yeah. And then I think people generally just do heroic with Rhino because he's considered he definitely can hit hard, but um, I think he's definitely considered one of the easiest villains in the box, right? All right. So first time also for us doing heroic on this channel. So describe to me, we're doing heroic one. You said so. Does the number yeah? After so the, the number word after heroic? basically de determines the number of car extra cards you draw. Um, okay. So uh, you know, like heroic one is like one extra card. Heroic two would be two, three. I uh, feel like Venom Goblin that. was heroic twenty seven. Yes. Well, that's <laughs> just like built in heroic, right? Right. Right. Well, at least on turn one, anyway. But yes, even with all the, the yeah. draw card draw and stuff like that. All right. So this will be interesting. So we're doing heroic one. We're doing Rhino. And and if that wasn't enough, Terrence, I suggested something more idiotic. Although maybe not more idiotic because we're playing against uh, Rhino. We've never both done the same aspect before. So we're doing double protection this time as well. So really, just we, we're going for stupidity here tonight nice yeah i don't i don't know why you wanted your double protection but uh just because i thought I, it'd be I, funny <laughs> i i came to the table and i i was like i want to build a deck around pinpoint because uh it was in the i believe iron heart pack um as like the protection card that we got there uh or maybe no it might have been um maybe it was nova i always get them mixed up because they came out the same time right um but none well, of them are like protection pre con right uh anyways it came in one of those two packs and, it, and it's like the champion you have to be champion traded uh your identity has to be champion traded and you get to basically uh i let me just pull that i guess probably easier than me recalling it from memory uh so you can actually show people a picture right sure where are we at because uh, i also want to talk about uh, actually in my deck <laughs> before we go too all right. So I wanted to build a deck around this, um, where you know when a player card would be placed in discard pile from play, you can exhaust pinpoint and then shuffle that card into the owner's deck. Um, and so I kind of wanted to build a deck around that. Uh, originally, I was trying to do a thing that I was showing you, Peter, around multiple man, but I I couldn't figure out a way to get above the three ally limit, um, which, which kind of defeats the point. Yeah, in, in champion and in protection. And it kind of defeats the point of, I guess, like playing multiple man if you only get like two. Well, right, because uh, pinpoint is a is a ally, ally yeah. also, so that would take one of your spots. That makes sense. Yeah, so I kind of went away with that idea. <laughs> like, I, I remember building the deck, and I showed it to you, and I went to go play it, and then, like, 
I like played multiple man on like the opening turn, and then I thought about it, and it was like crap. <laughs> uh, this is not gonna work. Out. Yeah, yeah. This this is why I play test my decks, Peter, before I bring them. To oh, the by the way, I did not. So we got we got that going for us. I showed you my deck, and you're like, "Why do you have this?" And I'm like, "Oh yeah, you're right." So I fixed it a little bit, um, but right. not all the way. Not all the way. I I, I half I halfway measured it. Um, but I do want to talk about the contest before we get started. So the contest is over. So thank you to everybody who joined. I want to read off two more contests. So I don't know if that affects the stream. I mean, OBS is the stream. So. All right. Well, hopefully I'm back now uh, for everybody. But um, yes. So what I was saying is we've. Uh, I'm going to read two more contest winners today. And then... Uh, of the nine that I've read on the stream, we're going to categorize them into three groups. Uh, I've already done this ahead of time. And based on the results of the game, one of these groups of winners is going to uh, gonna, gonna win the uh, prizes. Sound good? Yes. All right. So you're declaring who's in what bucket? Or... I, I already declared. Yep. I, I've already picked this out. My daughter helped me randomize earlier tonight. All right, okay. but first, but but the, but but the stream does not know who's in said bucket. Oh, I'm gonna read them out. I'm I'm reading out the okay. buckets. All yes. right, so we got. Uh, but first, we got John Powell, uh, his contest entry. I'm pretty sure it's Peter for getting to add cards to the TTS decks and possibly invalidating the whole uh, session. Sounds like an easily deniable sabotage to me. So, uh, all right, thanks, John. And this one, I did put him in one of the buckets, but I'm not sure that he's eligible. So we do have other people that enter the contest. So thank you to everybody. If um, this next person says they don't want theirs or we deem them ineligible, then we will pull somebody else in to win their prize, assuming their bucket wins anyway. Um, so uh, we got Kobus P. Um, as one of the organizers of Con of Heroes, well, that that's where I started right there. I'm like, well, maybe maybe not eligible, but but I thought it was a uh, a good entry anyway. So I'm reading it uh, as one of the organizers of Con of Heroes. Terrence is most certainly a scroll. In fact, all the organizers are scrolls. It's right there in the name. They are uh, conning everybody into believing it's a gathering of Marvel Legendary players. Then, in fact, it's a front for the gaming uh, gathering of scrolls, the Con of Cons. I think he meant Marvel Champions, by the way. He didn't say Marvel Legendary, but uh, all maybe, right. Maybe that's just the scrawl of version of uh, Steve. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Uh, so, all right. So that was uh, the last two that I'm reading for the year. Well, it was a pretty even split. Honestly, I will get I will get the final tally at some point. Um, but it felt like every week I was reading like one for each of us. So I feel like it was a pretty even split at the end of the day. Um, and none of that affected, by the way, I didn't read certain ones just because I wanted one from each. I, I literally read pretty much every one that had something more than, hi, Terrence is a scroll. Hi, Peter's a scroll. So basically everyone that had a neat little story to them, I read live. Um, all right. So here are the buckets I came up with. This is the least likely bucket to win, which is the we win the game bucket. Um, wow, no faith, Peter. So in that bucket is Koi P, uh, Alexandra A, and Kobus P. So if we win, that group of three will win the contest. If we lose to dying, which I feel like is pretty hard to do, but we also are playing Rhino all attacky. So here's the thing. We're going to have to play this game out either way, like even if one of us dies, to figure out like unless we call it when one of us dies and say we lost to dying, we'll have to make that call as we get there. Um, but so lose to dying, uh, that's Dan H, Matthew B, and Rob C would win if we lose to dying. And then we'll, if we lose to uh, too much threat on the scheme, if we scheme out, uh, Annie N, Jay Atkinson, and Edgar R will be the winners. So those are the three buckets there. Depending on the results of this game is going to determine, um, determine, you know, who wins. So, I don't know. I think that's fun. I, I feel like it's it, it, it gives people stakes. It's almost like you're gambling out there. Like, if you're in one of those buckets, hopefully, uh, you know, good luck to all of you. Um, and, and I apologize if I put you in the we win bucket. Because, uh, like I said, uh, you've got me with a completely untested deck uh, over here ready to go. Uh, I did get safe house on turn one. So, that's not the worst thing ever. Um, yeah. 
yeah so we got that going for us i also got some protection cards uh none of which is gr uh great at the beginning of the game um, um well you get the wall again so you got that going for you um yeah, yeah so I, I think i said wrong pre-stream but heroic one is we each get one extra oh so all right so I, i'm assuming that that is one of the people in the um you lose bucket that pointed that out to us no, I just went and wanted to reference since I reread the uh, new RG on it just to make okay. sure. Okay, yeah, I thought that's what it was. It, we I, would, yeah, we I would thought the number it. after was for each uh, for each person. So, oh my gosh, there's so much chat. Uh, so we got Wasteland Sniper, Victor Von Doom, Nine Down. Um, it's just the three. Oh, Brant's out there. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, there's a lot of chat. Terrence is out there. Terrence, you're sitting there. You're not streaming. You're, you're talking to the chat. What's up? Well, it's while you're reading, the, you, you were like on your monologue of explaining all the buckets and listing them out, right? So, Brent, Brent says, Brent says, Brent says, I vote D. So, uh, not one of the three buckets that we have. This is a fourth bucket that says, Peter's deck works perfectly. Hardest bucket to win. <laughs> So, who knows? Maybe we will have a Brent bucket um, that is, my deck works perfectly, I'm the MVP of the game, and may God have mercy on all our souls. Um, so I feel like I hold on to Espionage, even though it's not the greatest card, but I do want to have at least one preparation card in my hand. So Safe House and Espionage, and then throw everything else away. Or do I throw away Espionage knowing full well that I can pull it back into my hand with Safe House? Probably that. Okay. That gives me more chances to mulligan to something not terrible. Yeah. I mean, the other option is I could have used Espionage to pay for Safe House, right? And it would have been the same thing. And then I would have just pulled it back in my hand with, Ooh, I got my Sin suit turn one. And I got a uh, Gauntlet turn one. And I got Winter Soldier not useful turn one. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, do you want me to go first or you want to go first? You can go first. All right. Because I'm more excited by my hand than you were. I mean, I, I, I'm i not sad about a Helicare and a Power and Alva's opening turn. So. I mean, that seems pretty good. All right. So I'm going to use my Widow's Bite to pay for Safe House. I'm going to use Safe House to draw that Widow's Bite right back into my hand. I am are then... You, you're not playing Sensu, are you? What? Are you playing Sensu? I don't Maybe think so. I'm playing my gauntlet. Exhausting that. To play Widow's Bite. Oh, I see what you're saying. Should I not... Uh, should I have paid with Winter Soldier and then use Safe House to draw... Um, uh, whatchamacallit in my hand? Uh, I mean, it's fine either way. I, I'm, I'm, I'm fine where we are here because well, who I, knows... See, see what you draw. When I play to prep, I do get to draw a card. Maybe I draw a double resource. I haven't seen one yet. Boom! No. Nerves of Steel. So do I get rid of Sin Suit for Nerves of Steel? Oh, man. I mean, is that the card? Didn't, weren't, didn't you take that card out of your deck? I didn't take it out of my deck. I actually kept it in, and I put in more events is, is the way okay. I went. Um, so man, you just it's, lied to me on Discord is what you told is what you told Yeah, no. Me. I mean, Terrence, I lie to you all the time. This is nothing new. All right. I'm flipping, so we'll do that. And uh, should we get rid of this? I mean, seems likely. We each can score for two, right? So yeah. We, so there's my two. That. Yeah, there's my two. Uh, all right. So the question is, do I play Nerves of Steel or do I hold on to Sin Suit and Nerves of Steel? That seems terrible. Uh, I'm playing Nerves of Steel, man. Sin Suit, one of my best cards, if not my best. So I think Bucket D already lost because <laughs> I got rid of Sin Suit on turn one. I feel like. I mean, I can I, play I feel like... worse, and then you'll be the best stack in the game i mean assuming we win we we would have to win for that to to be like an mvp moment right i mean maybe maybe you maybe us losing is your deck working perfectly oh there you go is nice. that like your 40 chess move with my Brent? 40 chess move is to make terrible decks um yeah and go from there uh well i'll play helicarrier because that seems good it would have been nice if you could have used that on my turn to get me synth suit instead of nerves of steel I would have liked that. I know you can't. That would have been illegal. 
Oh wait, you built a pinpoint uh, deck in your oh you are putting pinpoint in, I assuming, with your web shooter. Yeah. Uh, are you questioning me not not playing pinpoint here? Well, that was my question. I'm like, wait a minute. Are you going to discard pinpoint to play defense mechanism? I mean, I mechanism? thought about actually holding pinpoint because of defense mechanism and then um, using that to, like, uh, just get tough on the opening turn. But I mean, that seems good, too. Because then I could get tough and confused and then flip down, right? Why don't you do that? You think that's better? I don't think it's a terrible idea. No, no, no. You need to take Pinpoint back and use this web shooter to pay for oh, it. Oh, yeah. See? You Hold on. That's... MVP moment. I figured out what you were about to do wrong. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Pinpoint, though, can shuffle Widow's Bite and stuff back in your deck, though. I mean, Widow's Bite's good. I mean, not really. Well, it's not really. <laughs> not, not against Rhino, Widow's Bite. It seems like terrible. I don't even know if there's one minion in this deck uh, at this point. In fact, Widow's might, Bite might have been the wrong call. Maybe I should have put in the... Uh, hold on. Let's think about this. Should I put in the other... Uh, should I put Espionage in? What do you think chances chance of surging on four cards are? But much higher than getting a minion. <laughs> right? All right, I'm doing. Yeah, there's that. only a few and a few in Rhino's deck, right? I mean, two damage and stun is pretty good though. But whatever. Yeah, I'm I'm doing uh, espionage. Yeah, let's do this. Let's burn that and then hold pinpoint and then I get tough, and he gets confused. Yep. So that gives a free flip down for someone next turn, basically. Yeah, or or, or at any point. It doesn't have to be next turn. All right. Ready up, draw it. Yep. I got Dance of Death and another Widow's Gauntlet, which seems good. Although I got no um, prep cards, which I did not drop my number of prep cards substantially. So I might have gotten rid of one or two. Uh, oh, my gosh. We are on sub chat only, I thought. Are we not? We got what? I thought we were subscriber chat only, but usually I do do subscriber chat only. But we got some. Um, see, this is why you do sub chat only, by the way, because we got some spam bots here who I've reported. Seems great. Uh... Hold on. So let me see something. If it's not sub only chat, I could have swore it was, which is even more annoying if it is. I don't know how to change it midstream if it's not. Yeah, subscribers only. Well, wow. all right. So the porn spam bots are now subscribing to the channel. Great. Well, we got nice. another subscriber. So yay. <laughs> I guess I mean, they, they've solved they've solved the YouTube problem they have. Yeah, right. Unbelievable. Oh well, thank you for pointing that out. Um, yeah, I can't believe uh, that got through. All right, so yep, sub chat is apparently not even enough anymore. So I might have to do like a duration you have to be subscribed for before you can chat, which I really don't want to do. But whatever. Um, anyway. Okay, Terrence, uh, we are... Oh, wait, did you thwart this? Oh, you... Yeah. Well, I did to do my thing, but I just didn't clear it. Yeah. I needed it to, for my basic power. All right. Yeah. We are good. Okay, so Step first on. things first, we are going to add two thread here. Then we are going to have Rhino attack me. I mean, I guess we're doing protection, so I should probably defend here. So I will defend. Um... So I defend for two, attacks for three, plus another one. So I will take two damage. One, two. You know what would have been great there is having a sin suit, which wasn't really going to happen. But all right, he's attacking you. What do you want to do? I'm tough. So where'd my tough go? I always hate when it falls through. You know there's spots below to put those things now. They are exactly there for that. So you're just going to take it. And that's plus zero, which is kind of a shame, but I also don't mind getting rid of uh, the, he attacks you an extra time. All right, so I get two cards. You go ahead and take your two. And uh, let's see what happens. You know what I love is being exhausted 
uh, when I draw my two cards. Oh, this one's yours. <laughs> uh, I guess I do that because I can't do the other one, right? What is the other one? Uh, discard them both. If neither was discarded, do you want me? Way, do you, you want me to search, search that? I mean, do you want me to search that? Or no? I mean, what do you want? Like, I don't mind getting rid of well, it forever. If I, I if I search that, espionage triggers. I so mean, do you want that? I never mind two more cards, but I, I don't know. Like, I, I'm sure we will have another surge at some point here. Like, okay. if you want to get rid I mean, of it. I mean, it would be nice. It would be nice to just get rid of it, I guess, and not have another card. You know. Yep. All right. So that's good. And then we got this thing. Uh, they are panicked. Um, I will shuffle something back in. Wait, what? Why are you shuffling something oh, back in? Just because I fucked. Oh, I, you need to shuffle in. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. By I the way, I love the chat going on right now. Um, but if you want to get our attention, please use the all caps option. Uh, or you can donate money. You know, we never said that. If you do like a super chat or whatever, we'll definitely pay attention to your comment at that point. But uh, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, do all caps if you want to talk to us. I noticed Steve from Beat the Game just came in. Welcome, Steve. Uh, and then, of course, we had Brent earlier. I didn't mention his channel, which is Step Into the Portal, which I never used to get the name for, right? But now I uh, now I feel like I got it. It's, it's just like beaten into your head now because you get it wrong. I got it wrong so time. many times. Uh, so we could discard fists to get rid of that, which seems unlikely anytime soon and when rhino attacks he gets overkill and damage from uh at the end of this attack discard charge um yeah i might be flipping down terrence because there seems to be a lot of bad stuff out there but you know what's not bad is that you're the first player why don't you go ahead and uh do some fancy stuff flip up <laughs> so that's what i'll do um let's see thoughts on tough here i mean you like, getting tough I, with it, all this BS out there. I mean, seems yeah, good, right? Down, right? And you can remove four threat and get rid of this garbage. Yeah, that was my thought. Basically, do the swing in. Yep, that seems super good. And you could still do across the Spider Verse with uh, power and all of us, right? Uh, I assume if I'm doing that, you're I'm going to use my helicarrier. Yes, of course. Yeah, and then you hold pinpoint again, yet again. Oh, oh, you're playing pinpoint too. Oh, well, so you're I can with these two. Yeah, and then I swing in with these two. Ah, I gotcha. I can I can burn my web shooter if you really need Halicare, but nah, I would like to certainly no. Okay. And then swing in for four, and don't get the confused, but that tough will be worth it for this charge. Yes, yes, it will be. And then and then I clear crowd this control. Yep. Let's get it started, uh-huh. Let's get it started in here. All right, so I'm going to start out by playing Ironheart because I love allies. Uh, when I do that, I get to draw a card. Ooh, oh, crew quarters good. would not be terrible right now. You're um, just going to flip down? Yeah, I'm going to dance to death to put crew quarters in. Well, you might as well... Um flip down to get the card draw from i'm gonna the do that first. oh are you saying do it first i mean i guess i guess it's always good to get card draw first so yeah i'll go ahead and flip down we'll go ahead and use my safe house to draw a card uh, i think there was only one other one in there the minion one widow's bite widow's i think was bite. the one that you yes. and yep attach yeah add it to your hand uh then we'll use this to play widow's bite and then draw yep. a card. Ooh, that one's good. grappling hook's good. But you don't you don't need it this turn because you won't be in hero. Well, I'm gonna spend one for my other resource. I'll spend one for crew quarters. I'll use crew quarters yep. to heal one, get back up to eight. And then, do I discard grappling hook and just pull it out with safe house next turn? I feel like that's the right call, right? Sure. I mean, what else would I do with it? Uh, and then I got Ironheart here. Do I want to use Ironheart? Yeah, I'll use Ironheart and save it as a chumper for you uh, or me for next turn. We will remove a threat. Well, uh, most likely for me if it if it's gonna chump in case he has an extra attack or something because you're an alter ego. Cool. 
All right, I think we are done. So let's ready up and draw it. I love that our chat has become a place for like friends to get together and just talk while we play the game. You know what I mean? That is, uh, that's one of the coolest part. Our community has become like a community in the chat. So if you're not watching this live, that's what you're missing from watching live. Um, you know, you're not missing us playing. You could watch that at any point, but, uh, but yeah, the community that's going on is pretty cool here. Anyway, all right, so let's draw two. And then, uh, all right, so he is going to attack you first. You are tough, so I assume you just don't care. No, I, I'm fine. I have all those charges on the discard pile. Yep. Get out of here. Yep, that is gone. That is still here, though. And then he... Someday I'll, I'll remember to put the status cards below. Yes, one of these days. I mean, there's literally three spots here for them to go. It's just not, it's like not super clear with the well, background art. Uh, see the yeah, with the dark ones. mats. We, we both have dark yeah. mats. Do you want me to switch yeah. your mat? I could switch it to the like, That's fine. It's fine. Here. Here, Terrence. I, I feel like, I feel like you'd be better off with just, you know, there you go. Yeah, like it's much easier to see here. Of right? course. Because of course. the solid button. But. Yeah, I have a story about the Black Widow mat. Um, maybe I'll tell it at the end. So there you go. Reason for everybody to stay stay here till the end. I'll tell my. I Black thought they wanted to stay stay at the end. See if they win the, the raffle. Well, I mean, to our post game chat. You know what I mean. Not not just to see if they won. Of course, they're gonna see if they won. Um, but you know, to see if uh, they, to to hear my Black Widow story, which isn't the best story ever, but uh, it makes me. Yeah, I feel, I feel like you're hyping it up if you're holding holding it. I mean, uh, I, I mean, it might make me look terrible. It might be, make me look good. I don't know. All right. So uh, now we both get two cards. Oh, the, you just are the confused. Okay. Yep. All right, man. Surge. Uh, so that's Rhino. Okay. So hold on. Did that, what does this say? When the surge keyword on an encounter card, but that doesn't have the surge keyword. Uh, so how do we know this surges? Uh, I think it's just like a rule in the RG. So the the surge keyword is definitely not on there though. So go ahead and draw a card, but I'm not going to trigger this. Does does it not trigger if you? Ah, uh, I'm just gonna say not. Give him tough. I'm okay with that. I mean, of all the things that could happen there, yeah, tough's fine. Right. I take a damage. All right, then I got this one here. Give Rhino tough. If Rhino already has tough, the card. Now, the, here's a question. What does this say? When the surge keyword on an encounter card would be resolved. Yeah, so it's got to be the surge on an encounter card. So in this case, it does happen for sure. I draw two cards, which. You have to discard it, right? Well, yeah. So do you want me to, question, do you want me to shuffle that card back into your deck? Either that, or I could get it with my safe house. Yeah, um, but you're grabbing grappling hook. Yeah, yeah. So do you want? I mean, I, I don't. Unless... I don't. I don't have a thing. I'm going to use it for. On okay. My turn, yeah. So, so let's do it. it. I don't mind. But that. It, it's mostly of like, do you want to deck sooner because you have your sensu? Well, that's the discard. that that is a question here. Um. So so maybe we don't actually want to do that because I think you probably actually want your sensu, right? I mean, I, I definitely want my sensu. Uh, so we're going to search for SBN. And you have one in your hand right now, right? So Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's draw the next one. The villain schemes. Well, that definitely happens. One plus zero. I'm sorry, whoever is nice. on the scheme team. Um, it's not looking good for you at this point, but you never know. It doesn't take much. It only takes 10 more. Yeah, I mean, it's only 10 away. Yeah. Uh, discard and upgrade or support you control. Just buy it. Yeah, that's fine with that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yep, that is Black, one. Black Widow don't care. Yeah, don't no, care. No, of all the people that doesn't don't care at all about that card, although I'm down to zero preps. Although with double Widow's Gauntlets, I'm not too sad. Um, that's for sure. All right, here you go. So I'm first player. Uh, oh, wait, Widow's Bite should have gone off for this. Oh, no. Nope, you're not in hero mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, and is it when it engages me? No, no, enters play. No, no, enters play. So you and it's it, not force but... response, so I could have chose to do it or not. Okay. Um. Yeah, you would actually kill Shocker um, because you would have triggered 
your other thing. You know, that Mirror that is a shame. Wow. All right. So even though I reported these people. Um, They're just out, out in force. Yeah. I mean, this is the same one that I just reported and removed all of their messages. Can I, like, unsubscribe them? I mean, I guess I could just subscribe again. Well, right? it's really like it's really like three, three different accounts, right? Is it? I think so. All right, I'll report all three of them. Yeah, this. I mean, Steve mentioned that the other night, and I definitely checked, and I definitely have the. You must be subscribed. So does that mean we got three new subscribers? We might be to two thousand subscribers. Uh, I think it was three different accounts, but because they had different emojis at the end. Yeah. So nine downs asking me to change it so that they have to be subscribe subscribed for a certain amount of time. Um, the problem is that they've already been subscribed for that amount of time at this point. Uh, <laughs> so that I don't even know that's gonna help. Uh, unless they change it to like a week or something. But I don't want to do well, that. Well, if you unsubscribe them, they won't they won't be subscribed for that amount of time. Well, I don't, yeah, I don't know how to unsubscribe people. I'm not going to worry about it right now. Hopefully, they stop showing up. Um, I have deleted all their stuff and removed all their stuff and reported them. So, we will see. I, I The chat can also report them. So, uh, you know, the more the merrier, I guess. Yeah. So, uh, all right. Well, uh, nine down. I see your uh, length of time suggestion. I appreciate that. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that in mind. We'll we'll think about this. Uh, what we want to do with it going forward. But for now, like the sub chat, like had worked for so long that I feel bad um, that it that it isn't working anymore. But we'll see. All right. So I'm gonna crew quarters, obviously, to heal back up. I'm gonna safe house to draw up. Oh yeah, widow's bite. Nah. A <laughs> grappling hook. One of the best cards of the game, especially since we haven't seen our favorite Shadows of the Past yet. Um, so there's my grappling hook. Then I get to draw a card because I am on my alter ego side. I think is super good too. I mean, all these cards are good. I got a double resource here and I guess covert ops. We don't need to remove that much threat. You're up first before um, you play Quinter. Well, because you uh, have to. Because I have to? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. so I'll flip up and then do that. Um, I got all the, I got a double resource, which I'm definitely going to hold. Do I want to hold sidestep or never back down? So here's a interesting thing. If you have three physical, you could get rid of enhanced ivory horn. I mean, I do, but two of them are. You also have Quinn carrier. So I could use Quinn carrier, never back down and espionage, you think, and then yep. play acrobatics. All right. So Quinn carrier, never back down. I don't know. What do you think? What do you think about that? I, I think that's probably the right call. I mean, plus one damage for the rest of the game seems not wonderful and then i'll use sidestep to put acrobatics in and hold my double resource that seems pretty good um thoughts <laughs> that on seems this? pretty good yes it does do you need me do you want me to take care of a web shot uh oh I, I still have i'm sorry i still have stuff uh i i can do something do you want me to thwart then if you're gonna get rid of shocker let's see what are your thoughts? Sure. So it's work. That. Yep. All right, Terrence, I'm not going to be zoomed in, but I am going to go refill my drink cup. So uh, I will be right back. You go ahead and start taking your turn, and uh, and and they're going to love you. People love you, Terrence. Okay. I'll be right I, back. I don't. Okay. Uh, I'm going to play Web of Life and Destiny since I'm Ward Boyer that goes in for free. Uh. And then, what should I need? Lightning, is that true? Okay, so I will use my web shooter and hell carrier to web shot for four, and then do two damage here, and then stun. Oh, is he very tough? Guess gets rid of his tough instead, and then stuns Rhino. Um, and then I'll use these two to put out my bunker. And I guess thwart this down to zero. And then my turn is done. I 
see Peter moving. Oh wait, no, that's just me. Just kidding. Um, awesome. So, just catching up on the chat here. Oh God, these this uh reported persons all over the place on here. Uh, I saw people mention the super cheap Keyforge sleeves. Uh, I also bought some of those. I bought like $100 worth, so I'm in the process of re-sleeving all of my encounter cards, uh, and that's been taking a long time. But Oh, would you uh, stop with the I sleeving think... already? Get out of here with that I'm garbage. I'm just responding to the comment. Uh, <laughs> I know that someone's talking about, about the 40-cent 40 40 Keyforge tournament sleeves that uh, I mentioned in the discord but gotcha. i bought like ten thousand of them and i'm in the process of resleeving all my encounter cards oh my god uh, right now um it's honestly not too bad uh but uh they're much nicer sleeves than the uh sleeves that i was using before uh i'm kind of curious if uh if they were on clearance because of the they were in talks with christian at ghost ship games to basically that link i sent you peter of yes I'm super excited. And I'm selling it, right? So, like, are, are they just, like, trying to get rid of all their Keyforge products, right? Like, inventory-wise. Maybe. Because. I don't know. But I'm super excited for Keyforge to be coming back because I yeah. love that game. I think it's great. Um. All right. So, we re are you done? What did what did you end up doing? You got rid of all the thread, I see, and you got rid of your... Yeah, game? so I thwarted... I, I played Webshot, and I played Champions Bunker, and I played Wild Life and Destiny, but that was free. Um... And, I appreciate you uh, stunning him when I'm first player. I, I do appreciate that. In case you were wondering, but you saw you saw the chump blocker. I do have a know, chump blocker if you, if you would like it. Yeah, I, we can definitely do that. All right. So I'm not I'm not like like you can chump and then I can also have it go back into your deck, right? So if ooh, if really... Ironheart back in my deck would feel very very nice. I gotta be honest, it wouldn't make me sad. All right. Uh, so let's go ahead and add two threats. Let's go ahead and be stunned. Um, and then let's go ahead and chump for you. Let's, let's get, get it started. Uh -huh. let's do you want me to cycle started. that or do you not want it cycled? I think I, I feel like it's fine, right? Like, cause it I mean, it, lets me, it replaces itself. So yes, right? Because yeah. yeah. it's one of the few Assuming cards. Assuming that... you want it instead of... I assume with your other preps, you can just safe house or something. Well, right, yeah. right. If if I get to go down again, yes, I can safe house. I mean, we're pretty safe on threat right here, and Rhino's not. Even with advance, Rhino's scary, but not that scary. Um, yeah, the sitting cast, I think, is like a plus X on the thwart, but. All right, let's go ahead and draw two. Yep. All right, one revealed. Rhino schemes with plus two scheme. There you go. See, like uh, I said, yeah. So that that happened. And it makes him a little more formidable. That's like a three so base. Five. So, so it puts him in half. You know? uh, Good yeah. Joke right there. All right. That just happened. Uh, place four threat on each side scheme. If there are none, we just draw one. Yeah. Well, there goes your obligation. There goes there shadows. shadows. There goes that. I guess I could have gotten rid of this, by the way, with grappling hook. Didn't think about that. Did you want to? Well, no. Not at this point. <laughs> I mean, definitely not at there this you. point. All right, put that acceleration. Wow. So that decked us. Yeah, I don't think there's too many side schemes uh, in Rhino's deck. Obviously not. <laughs> uh, there's pseudo armor, and he does attack me. Do you want me to get rid of that with grappling hook? You can't. Your grappling hook's a U. Wait, what? It's oh. a U. Wow. We have now, I can discard acrobatics, we... though. Uh, it, he if... will attack for three, so do you have a... Well, he would still stun you, right? What do you mean, me? He's attacking you, buddy. Well, I just mean if you were... Oh, is it acrobatics? Acrobatics can be anybody. When a oh, boost anyway. card is turned face up, yeah. discard it. Now, I mean, if you want me to block for you, that's something different because i don't mind going down more often like if you don't need to go down i can block this 
and then be the one that goes down more. I'm okay with that. You would get stunned, right? I'm okay being stunned. Uh, is Widowmaker an attack? No. Uh, but this is an attack. I could get rid of it right away. Oh, no, no, no. Because I'd use it before. The attack would go off before I get stunned. How does that work? Yeah, the when he attacks, this would go off first. Yes, so I would and still so, get stunned, which is yeah, fine because you have a you have a night nurse, by the way. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe we don't care about the stun that much. Uh, the only thing I would think about would be playing jump flip. Um, but oh, that's true. I could defend also, by the way. Uh, no. Yeah, yeah, you you could you could stand in front of it if you wanted. You want me to block it for you? Is that what you're saying? Uh, I don't. Uh, it doesn't matter too much to me. I, I can take it if you want. I'll probably just exhaust to do it. Well, that's what I'm asking. Like we're both, we were both exhausted to do it. The question is, do you want to flip down or do you want me to flip down? I think that's really what we're talking about here. I don't mind flipping down. Threat's kind of high, right? Kind of high ish. Yeah. So neither of us will probably flip down this turn. Um, so um, maybe it's better to not exhaust and just for you to take the three damage. And then we can well, both I mean, there, Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, because um, worst case scenario, acrobatics to get rid of some of it. Yeah. All right. Let's do that. Uh, flip it up. So you're taking three plus nothing. Yeah. Um, I think I'll still jump flip this. And what does jump flip do? It, I it seen uh, removes, it prevents two of that. So I take one. Did you use um, a lightning to pay then, for it? For, yeah, I did use lightning. I use a resourceful. So we remove two threat. I mean, that seems good. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, all of that seems good. I mean, the only negative is that you're stunned, but worst case scenario, you're just exhausted. But I have Night Nurse. To get so. Oh, yeah, you have Night Nurse. forgot about that. Yeah, so that gets rid of the damage you took and the stun. Yeah, all of that seems real good. All right, so we each take two cards, though, right? Or did we just... No, we just did our two cards. Uh, yeah, the, uh, the, Dude, that, I'm that just does, like, I'm not taking two more cards. You can take two more terrible. cards. Yeah, so I'm saying Heroic, Heroic One Rhino, like, I feel like puts him at the level that makes it a much better game. Like, unless you're like get unlucky with advance or something true solo, you know, like, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is light pacing here. So um, by the by the way, successful geek showed up and they said, "Have you played much with the Marvel Champions randomizer?" I don't know if he's talking about an app or I know you can randomly select your modulars here. Um, There's a bunch of different ones, uh, but basically they do all similar things of just giving random setups, right? Yeah. It's pretty fun, though. Um, I, I do that in my – when I run the gauntlet, I always do randomize. So that that's when you'll see randomization here. Terrence is usually a pretty big fan of, like, some set stuff. I guess when we played Hood, we randomize. Yeah. I guess I'll put Power Within in, and then – Well, Night Nurse first. Are you doing yeah night nurse do i not burn this yeah. well, i don't think it matters you get rid of your son right like that's the important part and you heal one all right now what do you want to do yeah well i was wondering if i wanted to use pinpoint to shuffle in but i can't um i think i just thwart thwart down is that is that the right call here sure that five and it gets plus two and then are you gonna flip down now him? or I don't need to flip down. Should I flip down? I don't know. I'm just asking because I'll have it down, down to one. Now, are you going to Venom Blast or no? So that puts that would put two on him, right? And you are first player, so that would stun him for you, which seems... Yeah, but if I flip down, then it would not stun him. For well, me. then it would it'll stun him for, him for me, and I'll be okay with that too. All right, let's do that then. Let's power within and stun him. I mean, I don't mind him being stunned either way. Any way you look at it, I don't mind him being stunned. Um, and then you can go while I look for a card to shuffle in. Okay. So you flip down. All right. Yep. So I am going to thwart for two. I mean, the only negative is I can't crew quarters you. I guess I could. I'm first player next turn. I could If I flip down, I could crew quarters you, actually. So that's not terrible either. I mean, and I also have Night Nurse too, right? So it's like, if I really want to get up to nine, I can. All right. So I'm going to put Acrobatics in. So I have two Acrobatics because that I love that card. Uh, I do have a double resource. So I think, or 
I don't know. I still think Electrostatic and Armored Vest might be the right call. Even burning a double resource for it. What do you think? Sure. Um, oh, I have, I have a Quinn Carrier. Do you have your Helicarrier? No, I used it. Sorry. <sighs> so maybe I only put one of those things in. Well, you can just put two and hold your energy if you want. And hold the energy again? Yeah. All right. So there's a double resource. Uh, so Electrostatic Armor goes in. There's Victoria. She goes away for my armored vest. I think that's Victor. Victor, Victoria. Um, oh, we can talk about TV shows after we're done too. Because I've been watching a lot of TV lately. Holy crap. Um, like geek shows, not like whatever. So I've been watching uh, Stranger Things. And I've been watching, uh, well, this is kind of a geek show. But uh, Ted Lasso, have you seen that one? When's the next season out? Well, I'm barely through season one of Ted Lasso, by the way. Like, I oh, just I see, started I watching. And Stranger Things I'm almost done with. But uh, we can talk a little bit about that after we're done, too, if we want. Uh, it, it'll just be a, a smorgasbord tonight. Okay, where are we at? Uh, we're all done, right? So we ready up? Draw up? Man, six cards? Hey, I got an unflappable. And another grappling hook, which never makes me sad. And never back down, which seems good. Although, he's stunned, so I guess not that good. All right, so he's scheming. Oh, well, let's add two first. Oh, three, because the acceleration. Oops, almost forgot that. Yeah. Uh, and then he's going to scheme against you for one plus one is two. Now, I can acrobatics that. There's no reason to at this point, but something good to remember, right? Um, I could have acrobatics that if we yeah. wanted. Um, but I didn't want to. Then he's stunned. Doesn't attack me at all. Um, so we're done there. So draw your two. Brant said acrobatics. I don't see the point of acrobatics. A one? Like, if it was more than one, yes, but... I mean, you could have done the two, right? I mean, I could have used both of them, but that seems really yeah. not great. Tough. So he just gets tough. And surge... And a minion. All right. Villain schemes. Now, if this is like a two acrobatics, it is. Yep, there it is. Okay, so I'm going to use one of my acrobatics, which does three points of damage, which gets rid of... Oh, wait, he's tough. How does that work? Uh, the tough will prevent that. Any tough, tough uh, status so, cards. So hold on. First. After you trigger the ability of a preparation. So the two damage gets hit by tough. Right? But the one still comes through. Well, you could do the one on Hydra Mercenary then and put some two away, which we can all just one shot, right? Well, that puts this two away also, by the way, which we can also just one shot. Yeah. Um, that, that's okay. what I was thinking. Well, hold on. I, I guess I could theoretically double acrobatics that if we really wanted, and then that would kill Hydra Mercenary, wouldn't it? Well, what does acrobatics say? No, no, it's villain's villain only. Okay. So no, that would fine. put the last two on here and one on here. I mean, for all you know, you're going to like grappling hook this next card, you know? Well, that's what I'm asking. Do we want me to acrobatics or no? Are you I... flipping down next turn? Probably. Right? And then I can heal you with whatever. Oh, this thing's at six, though. Maybe not. I don't know. Yeah. All right. We'll leave it as is. I'll, I'll keep it. Oh. There's a crisis icon. Lovely. It's lovely. Oh. Thank you very much, Brent. He says, pronounced acrobatics. You're right. Yeah. It is. I always thought it was acrobatics. I don't, I never. It's acrobatics. I, I never read it properly. I'll be honest. I like acrobatics better. Acrobatics sounds kind of stupid. I mean, I'm not trying to insult whoever named that card, but it's, it's not great. <laughs> Gotta be honest. Well, for me, it is not great. How about that? Um. All right. So, what do you want me to do? I, I assume work on threat, and I, I assume I also cannot flip down. Um. I mean, I do have swing in, so he'll be confused. Will he? All right. So, do you do you think I should? Now is this 
Uh, it is a hero interrupt. So I couldn't attack robotics face down. If he does get that, whatever. Um, I mean, the only thing I was thinking is like a grappling hook and draw more cards, of course, also. Uh, I mean, I could draw a card for my grappling hook. I don't know. I could probably then play for Jocasta also. Seems good, right? So certainly put Unflappable in. I like Unflappable. That makes me happy. Um, Yeah, crew quarters. I'll do all that stuff. Okay. All right. So I'm going to thwart for two. Now, I don't, don't need an... Oh, I guess I guess you have to do on that. Never mind. Yeah. Unless you want me to hit him for two to get rid of that, but... Or, or, or you want you, two on out, here. You could just take out my Hydra Mercenary, I guess. Take him out? How can I take him out? I only do two. Because you, if you play Jocasta. Oh, for the third one? Okay. Yeah. All right, so we'll put two on him. I mean, do you care about that one attack? I guess you do, or you wouldn't be talking about it. Uh, I mean, it's fine either way. All right, I'm going to flip down. I'm going to spend these two. He, it's just he has guard, so I can't like attack the main villain if he's out. Not, I'm not, not necessarily doing that. This I was about turn, to say, just... like, are you worried about that right now? Uh, all right, so I'm gonna spend two, to uh, or these two. I'm sorry to put grappling hook in. I'm gonna draw a card. Um, so the question is, do we want target acquired in or? It doesn't matter. You're not a hero. Well, no. The question is, what do I draw with safe house? Attack robotics. I feel like that's the right call, right? And then I put Jocasta in and I save attack robotics for next turn. That way you get to draw a card. I'm going to crew quarters you too, by the way. So go ahead and heal one. Thanks. Uh, oh, I, I mean, got a, I got so you can, play, you can play attack robotics. I could. So let's Quinn carrier to put attack robotics in. And then we'll spend these three to pay for Jocasta. And what's so special about Jocasta? I don't know. I need to look at her. You um, can pull a defense event. She's and a defense event, your discard pile, and attach it to her face down. So which one is your favorite defense event? Get behind me. Um, is is always good. Never back that's down. Not def- that's not a defense event. Uh, Get behind me. It has to be never back down or sidestep. Those are the only two. So which one are you thinking? Uh, depends if, you're def- if you want to defend or not. I mean, all my um, stuff tells I, me. I think never that. back down is probably the better call with attack robotics because you will defend stun. for four, which is higher than his attack, and it will stun him. And then, yep. And then you can use Nerd right. Steel to play it, right? So Jocasta's got that on her, and then she'll do the last damage over here. All right, that's my turn. I feel like it wasn't terrible. And you got Ganky Lee. I do have Ganky Lee. All right. Uh, play Ganky Lee. Wait. Do I... Brent says, great deck, Peter. Brent's going for the D, by the way. He wants uh, D to win, it looks like. D to win? Yeah, which is Peter's deck is great. <laughs> like, by the way, we've done zero damage to the villain. In case anyone's wondering about uh, what's going on here. Oh, look at you, team building. Oh, you're Yankee Lee. Well, yeah, that makes more sense. Wait, no, I'm not drawing my helicarrier. <laughs> well, I was about to say, wow, you got to pay for that again? That seems not like the best use of your time and effort. Oh, you can put defense and power within now. Yeah, but I got to play... I have to play um, Swan. Okay. So you've already spent one resource for swing in, right? Because you just no. exhausted helicopter. No, I spent that for Genki. Oh, okay. Ghost Spire would be nice, but... Go for it, man. You only live once. YOLO! You got a web shooter. I wonder if I just do uh, swing in and then team building just so I'm set up. I mean, it seems swing good. For you, you did a bunch of Spider-Verse stuff, right? So swing in, remove four threat, and confuses. 
Yeah. I assume you used a mental. Yep. That I did. Ghost spider is a wild. I mean, I'm a little worried about losing the threat here. Got to be honest. Are you? I mean, I just turned him down to four. Well, because if we draw that card, that's plus two to th to his scheme. Like I don't know. I'm I'm more confused, worried about threat than I am about us getting killed at full health here. Now I say that. Oh, and with chumpers. Wait, why is it never back down? Oh yeah, yeah, because that's on Jacosta. All right. No, I won't back down. Yes, I'll stand my ground. Come on, come on, come on. Here we go. Dang it. I mean, the odds of me actually drawing the one card I wanted are very low, but I still wanted it. I do have some card draw the next turn, so that could be good. Um. So, unfortunately, it's only once per turn with this preparation thing. Yeah. But. I mean, it'd be broken if it wasn't. I mean, it's still pretty darn <laughs> you could good. Play, you could just literally like, play your entire deck, I feel like. By the way, I'm going to use like Target Acquired to pay for Widow's Bite and then pull it back in my hand with Safe House because that would be dumb not to do that, right? I mean, maybe you play Target Acquired instead of Widow's Bite. Well, either one. I'm going to play both. Well, yeah, Widow's Bite's kind of garbage. Well, I'm going to play two of them at least anyway. So I'm going to get Espionage and Target Acquired out for sure. Widow's Bite, it's only if I have extra resources. Okay. All right, well... So you put three, goes up to seven, right? Yep. And then he... Confused. He's confused against me. Tax me. I am uh, tough. You're tough, so doesn't matter yep. much. Yep. And then two cards. Or three cards, no, I guess. No, it doesn't matter much. Now, I can't do... All my stuff is hero, right? Like, yep. let's just get this out of the way here. So me being down, that is a negative. I mean, I get to draw extra cards, but can't do any of my hero-specific stuff. Not that it would have mattered in this situation. <clears throat> I do have three fists again, also, by the way. So if I don't play Target Acquired and Espionage, I could still play Widow's Bite and one of them and still get rid of this thing. Well, you can still pull Safe House to pull one back. Well, and I you can't because this has got to be hero, right? Yeah, that's the problem. Well, I just mean you, you could you could play something and then pull and then pull it pull back it and back. then flip over and do it. Yeah, yeah. So we'll see. Uh, Search. No, I won't back down. There it is. There you go. Yeah. Guess what? All those are hero interrupts. By the way. So guess yep. what just happened? Yep. Taskmaster is what just happened. By the way, drink everybody. I got a drink in front of me. Let's do this. Brant asks if anybody's going to Gen Con, and the answer is Terrence and I will be there. So, come ready to party. We will probably have some kind of an event there for fans of the channel. Maybe we'll even do a Marvel Champions event if, because uh, Terrence won't play with my modulars, but maybe he'll bring like one or two encounters for us to play. Uh, if everybody just brings one deck, I think we'll be good, and we can play with people throughout the course of the weekend. Um, so we'll figure that out. Uh, so we get five thread on this one, which is great. And then, uh, yeah, shadows. Love it. Rhino heals four damage. If no damage. Yeah, that actually, actually surges. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that does. Plays four oh, that goes up to nine? Teams. Cool. Yeah, I mean, well, you know my thoughts. Getting rid of nine here is, uh, oh, well, the, that order of that was actually not the worst thing ever. Oh, and then here you go. Can you get tough? Uh, no. Oh, this is brutal. Uh, I mean, you maybe flip down then, and I hold sidestep and never back down and just uh, take that to my I mean, face. You know I mean, I mean, we'll, we'll see. Yeah. We will see, Terrence. We will see. By the way, he's a four attack, four scheme. Uh, at least four. Hold on. 
we, we need to kill Taskmaster. I mean, if nothing else happens this turn, we need to kill Taskmaster. Because what does he get? Plus one attack and plus one scheme for each upgrade. So that's at least four here. So that's four, five, yeah. six, seven, eight, nine. So he's a nine, nine right now, Taskmaster. <laughs> so yeah, by the way, we need to get rid of Taskmaster. All right. Uh, so you're first player. What you doing? Um, doing some things. Did you just double life or did you just? No, I, I cycled it with Champions Bunker. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, let's do that. Pain webshot. Two to webshot. So four to four, four Taskmaster, two to Rhino, which gets rid of his suit and then stuns him. I mean, all of that seems okay. <laughs> By okay, I mean pretty darn good. Oh, you have the three. You could play web shooter and still pay the three. Right? Yep. Yep. I mean, that seems like something that would make us happy for the rest of the game. Getting rid of this garbage. Yeah, I think I just hold Silk. Yeah, I mean, you could cycle her with Genki. <laughs> I think she's still pretty good. She definitely is. But... And you know, team building, you're one away from paying for with team building, sadly. But, I mean, I still think the three fists is the right call there. Um, I wish I had a way to get Yeah, the, the nice thing, those. too, is, like, she goes in. When she dies, she also gets Webo Life and Destiny back into my deck. Yeah. So or you... not into my deck, but, like, I can then pinpoint her back into my deck. So and are, I get to draw. are you holding pinpoint? I'm holding Silk, yeah, because no, I got rid of... Are you doing anything with Pinpoint? This turn, no. I mean, you could thwart one, theoretically. Uh, I mean, I can thwart two. Oh, yourself? Maybe yeah. get it off of uh, Breaking and Taking? Probably, yeah. And then I guess I can Pinpoint one off of Main. I mean, do you want to do that? Are you? I guess you can't flip down easily either, right? With six threat, it's not great. I wasn't planning on flipping down. Well, it's not terrible. Well, I was just thinking, so you don't have to deal with this attack. I guess this plus three attack. Yeah, that's a that's a you problem. I'm not first player. I'm, it's done. Oh, that's even better. Okay, great. Yeah, no problem. Actually, that's that's uh, that's what I prefer. So we can plan for it, right? Yeah, exactly right. Um, okay. So I'm going to hold sidestep and I got never back down. I think that's going to be the, the plan here. So he's basically attacking for six, right? So you just have to come up with six defense. Well, sidestep would have... actually be enough. Between yeah, so I think sidestep is enough. Yeah, so I don't need this. Although, honestly, jacosta has got to do something at some point. I mean, I guess she could do one to get rid of the, uh, or to put him down one. That way, if he gets that heal card again. Is that what we're doing with Jocasta? I think that's the right call, right? So sure. if that heal card comes up, it doesn't surge. Well, you you also have Ironheart here. As well, well, Ironheart. Why don't, you, why, why don't you like do stuff to like draw a card from putting playing Terrence, something? Why do you try to make sense of the things that I do in my life? Uh, all right. So, I mean, do I play Widow's Bite? Oh, I don't need the fists anymore. So I definitely don't no. No, I did. Bite. I did it for you, man. All right. Yeah, so target acquired is definitely going in. Draw a card. Oh, I could I could take care of that, Terrence. <laughs> uh, I think I'm also playing espionage. I, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. Why don't you just play Ironheart and see what you draw here? Well, here's the here's the weird stuff. Unless you want to do Dance of Death or something. Well, I'm thinking about... I think I can. So maybe I play Widow's Bite and Quinn Carrier to play Ironheart. Then I draw a card. Then I safe house to get Widow's Bite back. Right? I was trying to figure out a way to, to play Widow's Bite. Yeah. Uh, I got two Dance of Deaths. Not going to play both of them, but that's okay. So now I'm going to flip... Uh, 
Yeah, and both of us are full health. So now I dance to death with my widow's bite, and I hold the other dance to death. Is that right? Sure. I mean, at this point of the game, I feel like that's what we do. Widow's bite, while good, is not great <laughs> in this situation. Uh, so total six damage. I'm not gonna do one, then two, then three. It's just six in this situation, which seems not terrible. So and then do you both I, thwart I, I, down? Uh, I'm gonna thwart. I'm definitely thwarting down, breaking and taking. Yeah, and then Ironheart thwarts down main. And then Ironheart thwarts main is exactly right. Still not in love with being almost halfway dead and actually over halfway dead by the time all this is done, but I've got attack robotics to at least kind of do something. So I hold Dance of Death and Sidestep? Is that where we're at? Uh, that's your call. Depends on how fat, how much you want to mill to get your Sun Suit. <sighs> yeah, I do want Sun Suit pretty bad. So do I get rid of Dance of Death then? I mean, I'm definitely playing Sidestep, we said, right? Yeah. So the the real question is dance of death. Yeah, I'll get rid of dance of death. It's fine. I need I need my sides my suit. I I would I would have loved it a while ago. All right. So draw four. Yep. Wasteland says Peter seems pretty set up. That's right. Peter does seem pretty set up. Option D, Brant. Option D. None of the above. That means we keep all the Con Heroes extra content and go from there. Oh, by the way, speaking of which, the mod doesn't have it anymore. And by the way, if you don't have Tabletop Simulator, it's on sale now for the summer sale, 10 bucks instead of 20. I mean, I, like if you have a computer that can run it, that's the most expensive part. Like, by the way, don't think you're saving money by getting Tabletop Simulator and, and this mod because it's way more expensive to keep up with the technology needed to run Tabletop Simulator, which is pretty high demands. Um, but if you look in, because I was like, oh, Con of Heroes is gone. But if you look in this top box here, which says Marvel Champions Miscellaneous, uh, you search it, and it does have the Con of Heroes stuff uh, if you search it. So it's not gone. It's just uh, hiding. Okay. Um, we're all done, right? Yep. So we're going to add four to the main, which means it is not very far from popping, by the way, which isn't great, except I have Grappling Hook and I've got target acquired, and I've got another grappling hook, and I've got attack robotics. So, and you're, well, the most important things are in hero mode. And I'm in hero mode, which I guess I should probably be for the rest of the game uh, at this point. All right, so he's going to try to attack you, but you laugh at him and say, no, you will not attack me. And then he tries to attack me, and I say, no, I'm going to defend you. Um, and with my armor, hold on, let's let's get this right. So I got three, and then... Well, your other options, you can double sidestep. But I guess you want the money. After defending the against attack, deal one damage to the attacker. So that's after. So I will be doing one damage. But I am also right. going to Nerves of Steel. To... Well, you, that's when you take damage. So we have, you have to take damage first. Wait, what? Hold it on. says when you take any amount of damage. So it's after you, it's like at the end of the. Oh, so I'm getting. It's like, it's like why you can't. It's like why you can't sidestep and like for someone else. Got it. Like. It's, got it, because it's when you would take damage. Wow, I got a yeah, lot yeah. of defensive cards all at once, which isn't wonderful. Um, so it's nothing. It's nothing, so it's which is fine. Fix. So I don't have to use attack robotics, which is fine. Uh, so I am going to Nerves of Steel to yeah. sidestep. sidestep. And then he takes the damage. He takes the damage from sidestep, then he sidestep, takes the damage. And then another for the... from electrostatic armor. Then, yep. unflappable triggers, because I didn't take any damage, so I get to draw a yep. card. Yep. Uh, that doesn't feel bad. I mean, it doesn't, except I gotta get my sin suit out, right? Like, <laughs> like I mean, maybe not, but it feels like I, I should get my sin suit out. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. All right. All right. Um, so now we take our cards? Yep. You take two, then I take two. You decked, I assume? I did deck. No, I won't back down. Hex you. You want me to get rid of that? We can't. Uh, target acquired. 
No, that's a boost that's card. That's a boost card. That doesn't get rid of it. Espionage? You can't. You can't. No, this I is like basically of all of multiplayer Black Widow for a lot of her preps. Uh, do you want to chump this, or do you want me to I can help chump with it defense? Easy. Uh, okay. I mean, do, unless you want to defend. No. Okay, so it's chumped. Consider well, that was the for what that's worth. That was the scheme card. That was the boost card. Okay. The plus two scheme. Seems good. I can't read this. Uh, I mean, I feel I like think... the second one, the acceleration token, is terrible, right? And did you exhaust pinpoint? I think that's the right call, right? I mean, there, for sure not, it's the right call. And you're trying to cycle. Yeah, no, no, for sure it's the right call. Like, adding in the acceleration took it's terrible. Give him tough. Is Give that what another that tough. Yeah. Okay. That's, I'm not, I don't care. All right, because I'm about to plink it off in a second. Surge, reveal the top card of the encounter deck. Um. Okay, so no, we're grappling hooking that. But it does surge, right? Because it's, oh, uh, when. No, it gets rid of the whole card. Oh, nice, yeah. Yeah, no. Yep. That just that says no. I'm sorry, sir. All right. So that, but, that plinks but, off tough, right? That does plink off tough. Yeah, no, no, no. That's the no, no, sir. No, that does not happen. Uh, this is fine, right? How much is it? Five. Five is a lot. Mm -hmm. I mean, locations is like Helicarrier for me, and Web of Life and Destiny. Wait, what are you talking about? What are you saying? Each location. And each persona support is blank. Oh, so that's basically what this one shuts says? off. It shuts uh, off Genki, Helicarrier, and Web of Life Destiny. So, which for me is like subpar, but you know. I mean, it's, I don't think there's anything I can do about it, though, right? No, no, it just comes out. So, but we just got to get rid of five. What you're saying is it's a priority, although nine is a priority as well, which is yeah. Uh, so covert ops might be the call and set ascent suit, as we kind of alluded to earlier. Um, but you have nothing to thwart for one. I might. We'll see. Wow. It does not shut off Champions Bunker, though. All right. So, well, I mean, I'm first player anyway, so hopefully it'll be gone by your turn, or... I mean, I feel like I just play Covert Ops. I don't think there's anything I can do. I need two more resources to also play Sensuit. I think there's zero percent chance of me doing that. Although maybe I hold sidestep. Oh, I could have gotten behind me. Hold on. I could have gotten behind me to get rid of your whatever guard. Although I think you paying a resource or whatever was better. No, it's peril, right? So you can't do it. What? It's peril, right? It's peril card, so you can't. Oh, right, right. I got you. That help. So do I hold sidestep and sin suit and just play covert ops here? Uh, I have a swing in. What does that remove? Four. Yeah, I'm removing four also. So you're removing four from the main. And then maybe I flip down? What's the benefit of me flipping down? I could uh, get another card to potentially pay for sin suit. If you give me helicarrier, I could pay for sin suit. The question is, do you need Helicarrier? I guess you kind of do. Um, Because I could draw a card with Safe House. Well, either way. All right. So we're definitely double get behind me. And Quinn Carrier to Covert Ops. Take well, that's through. double confused, right? But yeah, that's fine. What do you mean it's double confused? Oh, just like both swing in and covert. Well, I mean, confused. but I'm not knocking a covert ops, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, oh, I'm exhausted. I can't get rid of that last threat. I can. I mean, so the question is, do you have an extra helicarrier? I think the answer is no. And, and no is a fine answer. Do I have the extra helicarrier? Like, do you need helicarrier? No. So do you mind if I take it? If I flip down, I could get Sin Suit. Now, the negative is I'm flipped down, right? Like, that's that's a problem. They're confused. It's not a problem there, but, like, all my stuff doesn't trigger if I'm down. 
Uh, that's up to you. It's fine by me. I mean, since suit's really freaking good, and I'd hate to hold two cards, but it's a huge cost. Right? Because it's costly. Yeah, I think I can use Web Shooter to pay for a Web Shooter, Web Shooter, Team Billion to pay for Silk, and then Genius pays for Swingin'. Oh, man. So. All right. So, uh, yeah. So, Jerry showed up and, uh, yeah, talked about the chat. All right. I'm sorry, everybody who is new. It doesn't seem like we have too many new people. I'm going to change the chat to. Um, I'm going to change it to you had to be a sub, uh, subscriber for at least a week. That should definitely take care of this. Because here's the problem. You can't even, like, if even when you just remove the stuff, like, their name says a lot, too. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so I just got texted from Jerry. That's the only reason I caught that. Like, thank you, chat, um, for, for catching it as well. Um, man, this is a shame. This is a shame. Yeah. That's why we can't have nice things, Peter. I know. And people are like, oh, why do you have subscriber chat only? Like, oh, you just want more subscribers. It's like, no, dude. This is like, it is what it is. Like, I don't, none of us want that. <laughs> like, um, so the question is, I figured out how to do it earlier where I figured out how to edit the stream in the middle, but I don't know how to do it now because I am, oh, edit. There we go. All right. Edit customize subscribers for at least custom so my option uh, at least one day that should be enough and we'll see maybe we've had porn bots as subscribers for a while uh, army of porn bots I mean, Taking over it is what it Not is. Surprised. I mean, you don't get to 2,000 subscribers without a porn bot or two. <laughs> I guess. All right, everybody. Well, sorry for anybody new to the chat. Um, I apologize, but obviously this has gotten out of control tonight. Okay, uh, where are we at? So we're deciding if I'm flipping down and you're giving me your hell carrier. You can have it. Okay. All right, so I'm flipping down. I'm warehousing. It doesn't matter for what. I'm spending sidestep. Oh, wait a minute. It does matter for what. I'm going to draw back my... Um, I might not need it. I'm going to draw back my grappling hook, right? With my safe house. Then I'm going to spend my Widow's Gauntlets to play the grappling hook. Draw a card if it's a double still... resource. I don't need it. Yeah. Boom. Nice. Unless you want me to hold sidestep, but I don't feel a reason for that. No, no reason why you're on LJ to hold it. Yes. Okay. Sweet. All right, that worked out. I was just thinking. Uh, I was like, oh, if I draw a probability of that was not super high, but I'm glad it worked out. I mean, probability was great because I'm going great. I'm MVP this game, Terrence. Brant's going to get his wish. Don't forget about Genki. Oh, you're face up. Never mind. Genki's fine. Yeah, uh, you go down a lot more than me. That's what he said. I don't know what that means. All right. Uh... All right, so you got rid of that. So I got rid of that. For your so one. now, oh wait, I can't use Helicarrier crap. Why and you can't, can't you use you can't use safe house. Why? This location. So, wait, wait. Could we have gotten rid? All right, forget it. I'm just getting rid of it with Jocasta, and then all that is legitimate. I'm wasting a thwart. I'm wasting another card. It's fine. It's fine. I don't want to go back on everything. So, yes, we can do okay. all of that. So, just figure out where you want to use the extra. Um, so, you did one. You can do it off main, I assume? Yep, main. Yep. No, no uh, yeah. Off main, and then swing in is going to do four. And then make me tough. You are tough, Terrence. Uh, and then, should I just do another two? Just drop it down. Even off more. main i mean it's not yeah. bad it's accelerating by four a turn like it's not great i'd love to get rid of killer for hire but this is basically would take if we spent all our thwart on this it's nine turns to recover like using my logic all right. i'm gonna ready up all right ready up draw up 
No, I won't back down. Yes, I'll stand my ground. All right, where are we at? In a world that keeps on pushing me around. No, I won't back down. All right, that's four. Oh, wait, wait. For, uh, before we go, um, I get to remove a treachery. Wait. Oh, yes. Uh, shadows. What do you think gone. about what do you think about exhaustion? That's fine. Or deadly shot. No, nah, I can discard a web shooter. I just feel like anything with surge is bad. Well, except I get to draw two cards, Terrence. Even in well, alter and... ego. All the rest of these. Are I mean, heroes. would you, would you prefer? No, no, no. This card's terrible. This is the worst card. That's not the worst card, but it's it's terrible. Actually, it's not that bad like, against us. With a protection deck, it's not that bad because you're typically exhausted anyway. I um, mean, how many times have I exhausted defend? One. <laughs> shut it, Terrence. You're, 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 you're messing with me. I think okay. in a standard protection deck, but... So, hold on. Nine Down says, Okay, sidestep wording, then because I'm boo on it, took me a while to get Kennedy Hawk video to get my head turned around the 1.4 changes. So wait, what happened? What's the? Uh, just uh, we're he was talking about the one point four run for defense. How you can play defense, defend for someone else. You can play the defense card and not have to exhaust defend. But I was saying that because sidestep trigger is when you take damage. Yes, you have to be uh, taking you damage. Yeah. Oh wait, did I defend? Should he have taken another point of damage from electrostack armor, or did we get that right? Uh, I don't remember. I feel like we it's fine if we didn't do it it's one damage I'm not gonna not gonna cry over spilled damage okay where are we at we're at uh did you do acceleration you did and then he's going to scheme but he doesn't because he's confused and he's gonna attack me do I defend yeah I'm tough do I just do the tough or do I silk here because I could shuffle her into my deck your deck's pretty big right now but what well, else are you gonna use pinpoint for uh, i could use it for power within on my side all on right the your call hero side. but uh you eating it yeah i'll take it yeah okay all right so i draw two you draw two yeah. And, yeah. And when revealed, discard an upgrader, support your control. Widow's bite. I think you're super sad about that. There's got to be a widow's bite here. There isn't. Um. Target, target acquired. acquired. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'll just I'll pull it back out in two seconds. It's fine. And I have another one in my hand, so I actually don't even need to pull it out. Um. Yeah. Widow is the one person that cares not about that card even a little bit. Whoa, right, what, so he whoa, does attack me. Stampede. And you'd be stunned? So you're blocking with Silk? Yep. Hey, there's my obligation. Uh, and I will shuffle this in. Because she is fantastic. And then I get a card draw as well. I mean, seems good. All right. All right, so uh, you are first player. Now, Jerry said, I respect that implication. I don't know what he was referring to. Must have been something about the porn bot. Oh. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> All right, your turn. How do I do more damage here? How do I do any damage? No, I was just thinking for um this guard... But I think I just have to suck it up and use web shot. I have Clea. Clea. Um. All right, so I should probably thwart, right? I mean, are we thwarting main, or are we going to try to get rid of the side scheme at some point? I don't know. Was that six? So it's like at half, right? Yeah. Uh, and then I will. Oh, and we're not stunning this turn, so you, or confusing, and you're flipping down, so yeah. 
No, I'm just double lifing. Oh, I gotcha. Um, all right, so what do I want to shuffle in? No, I won't back down. No, I won't back down. You notice I get stuck on a song for a night? Like, I don't know. I can't get this one out of my head. And now, tomorrow, none of you will be able to get it in your, out of your head either. Uh, don't need to do anything else here. So I'll flip up. Um, do you need Helicarrier? I mean, I'm never going to say no, but I need is a strong word that is probably not applicable here. Okay. Don't need sidestep. Yeah, I mean, I would say I, spend I, what you need to spend. Like, and if you've got helicarrier at the end, great. And if you don't, that's fine too. Okay. Um, so I should web shot. Yeah, I mean, if you could double web shot, that'd be great. So you have to web shot this one, right? Yep. Okay, but you do have two extra damage? Yep. Uh, where do you want to put it? I don't care. Do you want to put it on here and then you can clear it? That's fine. I appreciate that. Thank you, sir. And then one... Two. It's a web shot. Do another web shot. So six on the boss? Yep, and a stun. Oh, is mine stunned also? Not that it matters. It is stunned, but... Yeah, that's fine. Here, just to be super rulety. And then... By the way, Night Nurse only did one thing this game. She had one job, but she did it very well. Yeah. I mean, I, I feel like it's sad in protection if you don't have Night Nurse and you get stunned. Yeah, well, I saw you had Night Nurse, which is why I didn't add it. Here's the thing. I don't uh, know that we duplicated any cards. Did we? Two protecting uh, decks. Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't run any like the champion allies, like Iron or anything. Um, well, I'm not even talking about the the allies. Uh, I mean, I you mean like unique cards? Did you I don't, use I don't, never I don't, back down? Did you? Use... I have sidestep. I have sidestep. Oh, you do have sidestep. All right, so sidestep's the only card we duplicated. Uh, I, I guess camouflage is probably the card here I want because that gets me tough. And it confuses them, and he's already stunned, right? Yeah, but I don't know if I'll trigger it this turn. Because none of us are done. And then I can shuffle in. Uh, should I just thwart for two more? Sure. So that's four thwart for me, so I covered the acceleration at least. Yeah. Unless you want me to do killer for hire. Nah, it's fine. I mean, when we get a big hitter, we can we can start worrying about that. I mean, do I care about Victor? I mean, Klee is the right call here, I assume. Yeah, because she has to be defeated in order for her to trigger. Well, just, and just she can your, actually do damage. Play your prep first, so you get your card draw. I mean, Terrence, stop making sense. Um, all right, so I can target acquired, so I will. Well, hold on. Should I draw a grappling hook? Oh no, I don't even have a dragon. No, you don't have any more. All right, I'm just gonna get target acquired. I don't think. Uh, yeah, I have attack robotics and grappling hooks. I got them all out. So I guess I just safe house for target acquired, just to have an extra card. Um, to pay for stuff that I don't have to think about. So target acquired lets me draw a card as well. Um, all right. So, widow's bite or espionage? Well, espionage clearly right and i play widow's bite if i've got extra stuff that i don't need to do anything with yep um uh so i got clea let's never back down again i feel like uh two defense if you don't take damage right. they become so done. target acquired and quinn carrier for clea who will then kill this guard in front of me Clearly, you cannot trust the guard in front of you. Oh, yeah, I am flipped. Uh, I'll take the last two off main. Sorry for those of you who uh, had to lose to main. 
Uh, I don't, and we're both full health too, by the way. So sorry for those of you who had uh, died or whatever. It looks like it's gonna be um... ye ye of little faith. Oh, you you still think we can lose? Is that what this is? is that what no, I saying? mean I I I I didn't think we're gonna lose to start with, but you seem to. Well, it is Rhino. Like, why are we playing Rhino? All right, we're playing Heroic One for the first time ever, uh, and you were pretty down on this uh, this scheme combination. I mean, I, th I, I think I think it's a good scene combination, but you know, yeah. do I play Victor here or do I play Widow's Bite? I mean, I don't know. I just got so much crap. Like, I think I hold Widow's Bite, right? Or do I Should not I even hold? Victor? I think I play Widow. Or well, never back down is tough. I don't want to lose all of my never back downs. I'll play Widow's Bite to put Victor in. Sure. You know, <laughs> yeah. Seems I mean, good. he's not great in this situation, but whatever. He's another chumper for us. He's also not bad against, like, minions, right? I mean, he's great against minions. The problem is every minion has guard, and we don't want to keep him in play. So, like, like, I mean, it's not, it's not ideal. It's not perfect, but he is what he is. Like, I put him in. Therefore, therefore I am. All right, let's draw up. And I am decking, so there's that. No, uh, guess what? I think Winter Soldier is going to be free. Something tells me. Yeah. For each prep card uh, and play, reduces cost just, by one. You, you did just like throw him to the curb on the opening turn. Well, you have look. He's he's yeah. a late game play. He's a he, you 100%. love him halfway through your deck, maybe three quarters of the way through your deck on the first go through. Like he's great for that. Let me tell you something. You're using freaking pinpoint on him every time, by the way. Because that seems good to keep having. I mean, that's like game. every like four turns, right? By the way, I only have 16 cards in my deck at this point as well. So that's pretty good also. Um, all right. So we're going to add four to the main. By the way, I love Black Widow. Did I mention that? She might go back up to my number one hero. I just, I love her so much. Who was number one before? I think Venom. Last time we talked about it, I, I got to be honest. Uh, Ironheart's pretty good too. I like the new Ironheart card. Star Lord's fun. Like, like th these were all in my top five. So I don't know. There's a lot of good options, but man, once she gets going, she is just so fun. Especially if you have uh, the ability to flip down, which you've given me often, so you could safe house stuff. You can do like I don't know. Turns out Miles also likes flipping down, but, you know. I mean, you have been very much a team player. I will totally give you that this game. Um, all right. And, and and let's be honest. Every game we've played for the last, like, two years or whatever. Right. But whatever. Done. Nice. Um, I'm definitely going to defend here. So I defend for four. I mean, do I even bother sidestepping? Uh, you can never back down. Um, Stun? That seems good, right? I mean, I assume that's why you kept it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I defend for six. So, yep. He flipped a three. Doesn't matter. He flipped himself. You're going to attack, gonna finally attack or bad that? I mean, I could. But I also Wait, just I blocked it. it all anyway. Five. I mean, I no, blocked. It? I defend for six. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I literally defended all of it with, without Attacker Well, the, the benefit of Attacker Baddox is you get to ready. So. I, well, I mean, you don't think I'm going to trigger one of these things before the end of the turn? I mean, I guess maybe not. Yeah, I'll attack Robatix. I mean, the other benefit is it's four free damage also. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, you just don't get better than a three boost, right? I mean, you like, definitely don't. Unless you're playing, uh, if you like, trigger the ability to prep, right. exhaust sensu. So I do have to. Get yeah, it's ready. I mean, I'm not that worried about it, but now I have one less attack robotics also. So I wonder with sensu if you want the like bait and switch thing where you like force them to attack you when you're widow. What about it? Oh, just it allows you to trigger your prep cards on hero. Hero and face. then ready it. Well, the problem is you can only do it once, right? So you're doing it on hero or on uh, villain turn. Yeah. All right. So go ahead and draw your two cards. I will draw my two, and we will say good day, sir. I think I get 
the last two and then you gotta shuffle. I think I'm okay with that. Schemes. I mean, nothing I can do about it. Uh, you can do attack you want me to attack a really side? Uh, that's up to you. It's only three, right? I mean, I just want to take this out at some point. I guess we don't need to, though. It's not really that necessary. Go ahead and flip your other one. No, oh, is that friend. garbage? Discard and upgrade. You control. He's done. He's done. Right. You did what? not move the stun thing. What? He's stunned from never back down. Wait, what? Which is important. He is stunned because you played never back down and you forgot when to did I play never back? Wait, what? Here? Oh, yes, you're correct. Let me yeah. rewind the time stone. Sorry, so, sorry about that. Uh, yes. Uh, that That's important because it determines who gets attacked. That is true. All right, discard an upgrade you control. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That time when I defended, by the way, we never triggered electrostatic armor for sure. I am positive this time we didn't trigger it. Um, oh, and unflappable, by the way. <laughs> so I just drew Ironheart. Uh, yes, because I, I took no damage for sure on his attack. All right, so there's this. Discard an upgrade you control and take a damage. I mean, I don't I mean, care do you about just... the damage. Do you just grappling hook it? <laughs> I mean, probably not. But... No. Hell, uh, heck, heck no. I mean, if anything, I'd get rid of target acquired. Sure. Because nothing's... I mean, I mean, I don't know that he has any interesting boost stuff. Does he? I don't, I don't it know. It feels like not. <laughs> I Where's don't that widow's fight? Yeah, no, I don't. Armor. Gosh, with all this prep stuff in front of me, Good thing I did uh, attack robotics because there's literally nothing else I would have triggered on. All right, which your is first player. a little sad. Okay. Um. I mean, oh well, this is interesting. I guess I just do something with Clea. Uh, to shuffle her back into my deck, <laughs> so Clea will attack this over here. Uh, I mean, if you do kill her for hire, we could burn it if you really wanted well but that lets me get rid of hydra mercenary too i mean sure. do i i don't care about hydra mercenary so wait no you, you should kill it just kill it i mean between her and winter soldier i kill it but do you do you think we kill this Nah, that's fine you also have iron heart iron heart can do the one on yeah, yeah all right so clea is gonna do one here and then shuffle shuffle she shuffles yes and then Winter Soldier does the other two here. So, this is gone. Uh, then, double resource to Ironheart. Draw a card. Dance of Death seems good. Or do you think it covert ops? I could do either. Uh, it's up to you. I mean, we got to burn them down at some point. Dance of Death would and we could get rid of this with with covert ops we could just try to win. If, if if you iron heart and then dance of death you would do three you would get three damage through right is that right no no no, no. i'd have to attack myself so if i widow and then dance of death i would get three damage through Okay. I mean, you got to burn him down at some point, right? Okay. All right. So I do two damage here. And then I dance a death. So Quinn Carrier, sidestep. I mean, if I get your Hella Carrier, I could save Covert Ops if we care. What are your thoughts? Do we care about Covert Ops or do you need your Hella Carrier? I mean, it seems like you have a lot of resources over there, but you might not want to burn these either. Let's see. Uh, I want to play swing in. That's your double resource. So for Spider Man, you do need it, or or you could. Well, no, I need I need a wild for swing in. Okay. Let me hold on. Let me let me champions back before we make this call. I mean, you do have that Spider Man, which is very hard to play, but you could theoretically play him right now.
which seems real good, right? <laughs> play him. I do have a cross of Spider Verse, which is an easier way to play him. Do you have it in hand? No, but it's in like my eleven card, eleven card deck. I mean, you so can it's... play him though right now. Yeah, but is that worth everything else above everything else? I mean, I don't know. I'd rather play other Spider-Man. I mean, you could swing just in. double swing in. Yeah, that's my thought. I think that's better. I mean, that's the other option is definitely double swing in. You only get the camouflage once, but you only need it once. Let's be honest. Yeah, so one, two, does that, and then I have... So you don't one, need your helicarrier is what you're saying. No, I do. I have to burn everything to double swing in. No, you don't. You have double resource for one. You spend no, another two for the other. What are you talking about? I know. If I want to double swing in, I do. What are you talking about, Terrence? This pays for one of your swing ins. Yeah. And then the other one, you spend the other two cards. But I want to play Spider Man. Oh. Well, so you're just being greedy now, is what you're saying. <laughs> you're like, I mean, the question is. So I have Dance of Death and Covert Ops in my hand. I cannot play either oh, of can't. them currently. I see. Wait, how Are do you one play? One of those more important because I. Wait, how do you generate? How do you gen? Oh, you need one, two, three. Wait, how did I generate the other one? How do you pay for any of those? Why do I feel like? Oh, I did I draw my card for Ironheart? I feel like I. I feel like I had a plan. Maybe I didn't draw my card for Ironheart at this point. Well, whatever. doesn't matter. I, I, I just will say now that I cannot pay for them. I, I There was definitely a way for me to pay for them. I just, I don't remember if I, I think I didn't draw my card for Ironheart, I think is what, what happened there. But whatever. That's fine. All right. Never mind. I was begging you for freaking your Helicarrier forever for nothing, apparently. Except, I swear to God, there was, there must have been a way. Because I feel like I wouldn't have been begging so hard if I didn't see. Uh, so do you want me to take one off main? Uh, it's fine. Yeah. All right. All right. All I right. take one off main. I'm just holding these two cards. So let's put Spider-Man in. Uh, this is swing in. So he's confused. And I'm tough. And I'll remove four off of this. Well, did you need me to remove uh, one from that then, or no? Uh, yeah, can we do that instead, instead? of main? Yeah, I was yeah. about to say. I'm gonna shuffle this in with pinpoint. Shuffle what in? Oh, oh, your web shooter. Yeah, web shooter. And I'll do the other one four off of that the only negative with that is you didn't get the stunned and confused oh by the way he's confused right or uh tough and confused yeah with all um, that being said then... oh should i flip down sure i mean too late now right why don't you flip down that way you can ganky lee uh so what did you do remove four threat wait yeah no i removed four between spider-man and spider-man so wait, hold on. What did you do before? Spider-Man, Spider-Man are removing four. That off would be main. six. Two and two. Oh my gosh, it's not that Spider-Man. I'm sorry. Yeah, so you remove four. Yeah. So are you flipping down then? I wasn't planning on it just because uh, I want to be the person who gets the charge. Okay. I have tough, right? I mean, so the confuse is a little bit wasted. But that's fine. All right, we're good. Ready up, draw up. Yes, I'm only drawing three cards, but I don't think it matters at this point in the game. By the way, okay. Um, Ooh. Yeah, we're both protection, and like he stunned. If you can stun him again. That arachnobatics, though. I mean, I can't stun him again yet. So let's first of all add four. Let's start there. 
and then he's stunned so he doesn't attack me and then he attacks you and you're tough right so yep that's cool this goes away um and then draw two cards right yep. no i won't back down really really yes i won't back down i mean i can't do anything about that i don't think i know peril placing acceleration token seems bad exhaust a character and spend a resource of any type i mean i have a thought <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, like, victor i'm sorry you were uh yeah you have served served your purpose. Do you want me to never back down, get rid of that, or do you want me to keep that and get rid of sidestep? Probably sidestep for me personally, but you want him stunned again? You said, okay. I just I just have arachnobatics in my hand. So, wait, what do you mean you have arachnobatics in your hand? Oh, so if he's stunned and confused, I do eight, right? Oh, I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. Oh well, speaking of confused, he is not. <laughs> no longer confused. Oh, I see. I see. Uh, hold on. I mean, you I'm not doing do anything about that, but I am drawing four cards. <laughs> I mean, I'm fine with that. And he takes two damage. Oh, here you go. Hey, remember when I said I don't care about flipping down? I do want to flip down. Oh, hey, I get to flip down. That's actually kind of nice. Uh, yeah, yeah, bye. Are you exhausting, or are you going to discard your highest car cost upgrade and then play it again i guess you don't care about exhausting i really don't care about exhausting my highest cost upgrade is not quinn carrier it would be what one of my two grappling hooks no your highest cost upgrade yeah would be one of your two grappling hooks yeah nah i'm good i don't i, I literally don't mind exhausting this turn oh the only the only thing again is threat right yeah we're yeah that was my we're both exhausted <laughs> Uh, but I do have two covert ops in my hand as well. So there's that. <laughs> and uh, with uh, Pinpoint, I can Ironheart, and you can shuffle her back into my deck too. All right, so, but you're first player. All right. Uh, I feel like you always champion Smucker, because why not? Ooh, Arachnobatics. So I get rid of sidestep. Nine down says, why did I move my mouse over Terrence's deck to see how many cards he's got left? <laughs> he has five left, by the way. Victor says, they need a guest pointer controlled by the chat. <laughs> nice. Silk? I mean, Silk's not terrible, ever. What do we want out, Shadows? Do you I mean, care? I mean, I've already got my bad stuff in. But I can't grappling hook shadows for you, so there's that. Or do we want calling in favors? Which one's that? I mean, I feel like you've made the choice. Scheme at plus the two. Yeah, one. at this point, that's pretty terrible. Because we got this acceleration too, by the way. Uh, thoughts. Uh, if I thwart for yeah, one, one here. Yeah. yeah. Can you get rid of that? Yes, I Is can. Is that a thing? That is a thing. You can do. I mean, again, then... I've got two covert ops. So, yes, for sure I can. Hold on to uh, Arachnobatics. And then I will play across the Spider-Verse, exhaust my web of life and destiny to... Oh, so, man, how does I this can't... work? Cause I can... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me understand this. All right, exhaust a web where your card you control. Oh, so you're just exhausting this card. All right. Yeah, so it's still have for web warrior and put it into play, then choose a player. That player may spend three resources of any type to repeat it. All right, so you just get Spider Man for free. Yeah, actually, I'm gonna do this later. Maybe. Wait, no. Because eh. it's an action. Well, I could. Well, unexhausted no, if you fine. haven't done it, right? I can't. I can't get this card draw, which makes me sad, but it is what it is. Well, hold on. Response. After a web warrior leaves play, choose a player. It's blank. Player draws it's a blank. Ah. 
Well, it's no, 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 it's not blank. Hold on, stop. Covert ops. Stop. You're you're an alter ego. You're an alter ego. Son of a. All right, never mind. All right, so I'm just gonna thwart for two, with him. Off main. Yep. I mean, I and guess let's, theoretically let's, it doesn't matter. Top deck, top deck three cards. So how does this work? So three damage. Uh, the boost icons on the three cards. Gotcha. Oh no no, no. goes to sin suit. Yeah. Or whatever suit. All right. So, we need so now I will one. get Spider Man. Oh, yeah. You need to get him. Yep. So you're going to do the last two here with him and ready yourself? Yep. And then I will thwart two off of main. Seems good. Uh, so I'm not going to need to double covert ops. I can dance a death in covert ops, and I can even hold on to one of the covert ops, probably. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to defense mechanism. I don't think I need it. Well, why wouldn't you use it? I mean, the only benefit is shuffling it back in, right? You're about to go through your deck. Why wouldn't you stun and confuse? And tough? because because you're about to confuse them. Okay, that and then seems and logical. then I have chumpers. Yeah. All right. That's logical. Okay. Um, so first things first, I'm going to put out. Target and then acquired. I guess in theory, I have a helicarrier for my own arachnobatics. If you want me to play it. Yep. So I'm going to target acquired I, is... and widow's bite. Well, draw your card first for your first card. Sure. Widow's bite. <laughs> I also can draw one of these. Oh, do I want Espionage instead of Widow's Bite? I feel like there's enough. I'm going to draw Espionage, but I may end up playing all of them. Who knows? Um, Widow's Bite's kind of nice just to get rid of that guard. Yeah, those guard guys, so it would literally around. just kill them because it's two damage plus one yeah, yeah. itself. So. Um, all right, so I'm going to ready. You can play all your things. Are you going to pinpoint my Ironheart? Sure, I can do that. So, yeah, I'll Ironheart to remove a threat, I guess. Just oh, uh, should I have pinpointed... Hold on. Should I pinpoint Spider-Man? Or do you want Ironheart instead? I don't care. I only have seven cards left in my deck. You only have five cards left in your deck. doesn't matter to me. I'll shuffle mine in. Uh, okay. That's fine. Just because it... I'll lose Ironheart. Let's me. Um, I mean, Winter Soldier is the correct answer to all of these questions, but we don't need to worry about that. Actually, I don't know what I'm doing with Winter Soldier yet, so let me not exhaust him yet. Um, okay. Why am I exhausted? What did I do? You got rid of. Uh, uh, you were exhausted from your obligation. I thought Winter Soldier oh, was yeah. taking out this, right? Taking out what? The no, armor. No, you did that. Oh, I did that. You did that. Winter Soldier hasn't activated yet. Um, so you can just lay out your like full on six from Dance of Death, right? And then Winter Soldier can kill. That would be eight. Yep. And then Covert Ops to get rid of this. It does. It does stun us. But that's probably fine. I mean, you have Night Nurse, dude. Yeah. I, I mean, do we care about stun ever? Now the question is, do uh, I have uh, six to pay for it? I think I do. So three, three to pay for. Clea, get behind me to covert ops, right? Because we got to get rid of this garbage. Because that's just yep. annoying. All right. So now my stuff is back online. Yep. And then Quinn Carrier. Never oh, you back can't. Down. You can't. You can't shield because it's a location so i would have had to pay one more one more yeah so hold on so i think we're good now yes so never back down would have been my one more and then i i do need your um thing if you don't that's mind fine. If, for dance of death no, i just i just can't rack them back that's fine one two three for dance of death or one two 
Quint Helicare for Dance of Death. That's six. Oh, that Confused is from my, uh, whatchamacallit? Cover, cover, cover ops. ops. Not this one, obviously, but the one I actually did. Um, all right. And then. Oh, did you record so you flipped up? Could I have? Why can't you? The location? No. Oh, you know, yeah, it's blank from a location. Yeah. Is that a location? It is. Yeah. So I couldn't have pre quarters. Okay. Um, so Dance, Dance of Death for six. Winter Soldier for two more. Advance it. So he just gets tough and we get stunned. Yeah. But I feel like. I mean, you're going to get stunned at some point. Like now. I'm going to clear your stun. Cause it'll heal you up to nine. Is that an action? Oh. Yeah. Yep. Thank you, sir. Don't do it. Come on. You use the excuse of your mat being the problem. I got rid of your mat and you're still having issues. All right. So I got seven cards left. You got six. Neither of us are going through our deck here. Um, all right. Ready up draw up, right? Oh, I got another Dance of Death in case you were wondering, which seems nice, good. Nice, nice. I mean, especially when they've got tough and I'm first player. Well, it doesn't even matter if you're first player with Dance of Death. Uh, so I got a Never Back Down and a Sidestep. Um, if you want me to stun and confuse him, do you have an Arachnobatic still? I mean, that seems good, right? Okay. Uh, so we're going to add four. We are going to have him attack you. Do you want me to defend? Why don't you... You're getting rid of Silk, right? Yep. Just chump Silk. Okay. Oh. This activation, the villain gets plus one scheme and attack for each upgrade you control. Yeah. That's terrible, by the way, when it's me. Oh, that's why matter, I need no. target acquired. Do you yeah. want? I mean, Wait. Yeah. it doesn't matter here, but holy crap. I'm glad I saw that because holy crap, by the way. <laughs> uh, are you okay with me pinpointing Silk back in? That's fine. I assume removing treacheries for, for days is makes you happy. I mean, it does not make me sad. All right. So then he's going to attack me. I am going to defend. So I defend for four. One, two, three three four or this one's four armored vest and we want him stunned right so i'm never backing down yeah so that's i mean six. I assume you're gonna ready at some point so i'm at six i mean hopefully i get to ready at some point five so, yeah six to their five all right so he's now stunned and it gets rid of his tough Gets rid of his tough because so he, he doesn't get his trifecta anymore. Well, yeah. So he gets rid of tough from electrostatic armor. Uh, and you get to un. Uh, I mean, that feels good. I mean, yeah, double resources. Like, well, I don't know. I just don't have the cards to play them with, but that's fine. Yep. All right. Uh, Two cards each. Yeah, I need one of mine to be a treachery, so I can grappling hook it. I know attacks you. Huh. Okay. Um I have no way to get rid of it. Do you want me to chump with Victor? I won't say no. Okay. Uh yeah, I don't mind chump. I mean Victor is that's what he does. Yeah, let's do it. I mean Victor <laughs> is literally in my deck to chump. I mean he doesn't even die. Victor has Doesn't one even die. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> Victor is literally... So the reason oh, Victor my... doesn't die is reduce the amount of damage he takes by one for each attack. Rhino literally attacked for four plus zero boost, so he took three. Oh, I can't jump again with Victor. And, no, you cannot. Uh, uh, I, I'm i fine with this. You're just going to take the I have punch? A double life. I, I have a double life in my hand, so... Okay. So, okay. All right, so you're taking four plus, and you have attack robotics, right? Well, yeah. that's fine. Five. I mean, do we want to attack robotics? That I mean, the benefit of attack robotics, I get to ready, but I feel like there's also there's 
a yeah, couple more opportunities for me to ready. Wait, wait, wait. He, he doesn't attack. Wait. Oh, because he's stunned. Yes. So that second attack was Victor's. Yep. So go ahead and shuffle the second boost card back in. This one. It's a minion. So get all your life back, by the way. Because the first one was stunned. The second one... Oh, Brian's Basement reminded us stunned as well. Thank you, Brian's Basement. I appreciate that. Uh, the second one, Victor, draw blocked. Because it would have been the zero... Because we blocked the first one. So that, that all worked out. Yeah, it worked out fine. So shadows... This surges. So this would surge... Or I just get rid of it with Grappling Hook, which I think is the right call, because that lets me ready. Uh, do you not have the you don't have the other card? I don't have the other cards because I used them all at once. So that lets me right. ready, and Widowmaker. it gives him one damage. Right. There you hey, go. Yeah, Widow's Bite. Hey, Widow's Bite actually killed somebody. I would have been able to ready anyway, but I, I wasn't sure, so I'm glad I. I'm still I still have a grappling hook. Although right. I can't play Winter Soldier for free right now. I only have three. What is going on here? I only have three prep cards. Expensive expensive round. I, I'm gonna have to flip down Terrence just to get more prep cards back in my like prep air. Uh, yeah. Which is ridiculous, but he is confused. So there is that. Um okay, so I'm first player. You are first player. I was kind of joking about flipping down, but I'm also kind of not joking about flipping down. It's like joking, but not joking. Uh, like, uh, are you playing? I assume you're playing Dance of Death before you flip down. I mean, obviously, like I have nothing literally better to do but play Dance of Death here. Everything else is literally wasted cards in my hand. Uh, I Maybe mean, should defend more. Dance of Death for six. Yep. Do I attack or thwart? I mean, I have four points of attack, for thwart, or I could split them, obviously. I mean, whatever you want. I can do the difference there. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to thwart. Just because I am going to flip down and be a selfish son of a gun. All right. And then you're flipping down. I mean, I just feel like it gives me a chance to draw something that's actually useful. Although I'm also decking myself. I mean, you should get your safe house, right? You got to get your prep card out. Well, that's what I'm saying. So which which prep card? I, I mean, I guess I do the grappling hook because it costs two, and I have two free resources, right? Sure. And then next turn, well, next turn I won't have any. Then you draw your card. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm decking myself by doing this. So I spend two right. for the grappling. I mean, hook. you're decking yourself regardless. So I got widow's bite now. I mean, you might as well play it. I mean, yeah, I like. Oh, and I could crew quarters nothing. Um, all right, so I shuffle that back up. I take my bad card. I am definitely going to... I mean, I haven't get behind me the whole game. Maybe I should have. I still feel like sidestep's better. I don't know. All right, I guess that's where I am. And I'm holding sidestep. Like, I'm probably not going to hold sidestep, am I? Nah. No. <laughs> like... My deck is 20 cards. It's fine. All right. Go All for right. it. Uh, I will... Mobile and deck myself. By the way, the uh, changing it to one day seems to have stopped our porn bot. Huh. I'm Jump now flip. curious Down. what our subscriber count's up to and see if the porn bot is a permanent subscriber or not that's the problem like as long as they're permanent subscribers there's like i don't know if there's a way to get rid of them uh all right i'll thwart down a zero put in this double life do I even have? Well, if you no. double life, you should be ready if you've spent a fist. I just don't have anything to discard until uh, I shuffle in. 
Oh, uh, do I just camouflage and shuffle that in? I mean, literally, camouflage would do nothing. Literally, it would nothing. give me tough. It would give me tough. Oh, you're stunned, not tough. I got it. Yeah, might as well do it. Who doesn't want a free tough? I mean, uh, not terrible. Wait, wait, what did, did you I... flip down? Oh, you flip down only. Wait, shouldn't you be ready? Yeah, I should be ready. Um, let's see. So wait, what, what? Night Nurse had one left. That's right. Oh. Did I shuffle? Did yeah, I shuffle? You, sh you shuffled it in. Yeah, you had. And it's still on top. Look at that. Okay, yeah, well, okay. It, it really wants to be on top, Terrence. Yeah. All right, so I flip up. Uh, forcing pinpoint is used up. That's fine. Um, but Wait, I should get rid Yankee to draw one. Yeah, you did. That's right. Yeah, that was the defense mechanism. Twice, three times, <laughs> three times. Uh, a lady. I mean, web shot, right? Yeah. Web shot and then rack now. Yeah, absolutely. That seems ridiculously good. So web shot does um, four damage plus two more in stun. So that's six total. Yeah. And stunned. By the yep. way, I feel bad for all of the groups except for the win group right now. Uh, except for group D. I think Brant might be the only winner here. Because my deck was fire this game. So two. What, what's an acrobatics do? Or, uh, Eight. Let, let's Eight. show it. So it's two plus three additional for stun and three. infused. So it's eight. So he's at nineteen. Yep. So down to eleven, and then and then two for me, two for Spider Man, and then two for me again. So six. So six. So he's down to five. Yep. I mean, yeah. GG. <laughs> oh, I draw. I actually draw another one. Wait. Oh, I decked apparently. In a world that keeps on pushing me around, no, I stand my ground. Wait, why do I have two cards in front of me? I have no idea what happened there. I should only have one, right? I, I don't even know why you have one. Oh, are you decked? For decking. Did you draw one and then you're like, I don't have enough cards. I'm going to keep drawing. All right. Let's so, do it. First things goes first, up, uh, he's confused against me. Well, second, did you? Oh, yeah. He only goes up by four. Second thing, second, he's stunned against stunned. you. Third thing, draw third, cards. we draw a million cards. I mean, there's a chance we lose here, Terrence. Not a good one, but there's a chance. Uh, if I know it, uh, alter ego surge. I don't have the surge. Do I have anything I can do that's not no. hero now? No. Okay. So I'm not even going to worry about my prep cards. Heals four damage. I mean, I guess that's probably the best thing he could get for him. Four damage again. Wow. He's up to 13. Terrence, we might not Man. win. What is this? Oh. Sorry, man. Tax me. Uh, uh Victor. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Hold on, can, can you put Victor back in with Pinboy? <laughs> oh, it's overkill though. Hold on. Do we really want that Victor? He only has one left. No, I'll take it. I'm tough. I'm tough. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> I I uh I missed that part. Remember that time when I was just like I want to do it just for tough? Yeah. Paid off. That's, that that seems good. Hey, we got rid of that. I'm actually surprised we got rid of this twice this game. Oh, wow. Way to shut me out. Wow. All right, so we might not be winning this turn is is, is really what I just saw there. Actually, I find it hard to win unless I get Dance of Death. It's my draw. I think we're in trouble. Are we in trouble? What do you got? I mean, not trouble. Like, it's just going to take another turn. 
right? <laughs> like it's not. I, 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 trouble was a uh, a, a very uh, uh, whatever over exaggeration. Like definitely not trouble. I mean, do I? I I kill one myself. Okay. Right. And then Spider Man goes away. I get draw a card. Um, I think I have to web shot the other one, right? Yeah. What's that for? Yep. I mean, yeah. There's no way I can help you. I have no. Well, actually, I'll attack him for two. Okay. Uh, I'll one? restore fall with double life. Oh, I got you. Ready. And then I will shuffle Arachnobatics back in. Sure. I mean, they seem to be stunned and confused a lot. I, I don't think it matters. I think you've just guaranteed the victory here. Oops. Well, that didn't work how I expected to, but you know. So I assume um, you're flipping and then punching. Yep. I mean, don't forget, you do have pinpoint to do two damage as well. Like at this point of the game. Uh, uh, web shot for four and then two. And stun. I assume you don't have a way to confuse. Um, I mean, play, depends what play, I draw. Play right? a thing. <laughs> play your stuff. So you, can you... Oh, you can't play yet. Um, no, no. Oh. Uh, yeah, no, none of them are actions. None of the stuff I do is actions. Uh, should I just not care and then kill him? I mean, can you kill him here? Five, seven. Oh, so pinpoint did the last two damage. Yep. All pinpoint right. Pinpoint deck. Boom, boom, boom. All right. So I feel like uh. It was not option D, because I don't feel like I was the MVP here, but we did win. So, the winners of the contest are uh, Koei P, Alexander A, and Kobus P. And I feel like Kobus P is probably not going to claim their prize, so somebody else will be claiming Kobus P's prize, I'm assuming. Um, How do you do this? Because Kobus P said, I'm part of the event staff at Con of Heroes. Ah. Uh. So, like, I'm just going to assume that yeah. they don't need call. the kind of heroes stuff. Who, who did Kovis P vote for? Uh, Me? I think, you know, yeah, he said you. He said Terrence is part of the event staff at Kovis P with me. And, um, you what know, if we're, we're all scrolls, basically, is what he said. Like, he admitted it. Like, I, I feel like that was the the admitting and the the final vote. Like, the, the only important vote right there was Kobus P's, where he basically said, no, really, we're Skrulls, all of us, at uh, Kind of Heroes. Some 40 chess move he's playing right here. Nice. Well, he ended up winning, so there's that. So, I mean, look, maybe he's got a brother, a sister, an uncle that, that won it. Uh, I'm not going to disqualify him from winning. So, uh, but we'll see. We'll see. So those are the three winners. Congratulations, Kobe P, Alexandra, Alexandra A, and Kobus P. Um, yeah, Terrence gave us an easy mission tonight. I feel like this is the easiest mission we've ever played on this streaming. I, you were you were so you were so scared about Heroic when I mentioned it, and I was telling you it's uh it's Rhino. No, no, no. I mean, Rhino plus I, Miles, I guess. I said, it, well, we also did double protection against Rhino, which I feel like is cheating a little bit. Like, because you're never worried about threat with Rhino. To be fair, I didn't do very much protection stuff besides Night Nurse, and I played one jump flip. <laughs> yeah, well, and I mean, we didn't need to. We were stun You were stunning and confusing. I was stunning. Like, there, there was plenty of non-protection-y stuff we did. Um, hey, I had my guy, my four health ally <laughs> whatever his name was that was like yeah I, somewhat useful i was hesitant to bring this deck because i wanted to wait for the spider pack to come out yeah because uh, i think there's like 
uh, spider sense or whatever, spider tingling thing. <laughs> that P- is Peter a, Tingle? Yeah. Uh, that's a one cost. It's a one cost, like, a upgrade that um, you take a damage to basically cancel a treachery, a one revealed effect. Oh, okay. And that would also, you know, work well with pinpoint, right? Because, like, you can put it into play. You have to be web warrior, but you can put it into play. Uh, it doesn't get gummed up in your hand of like holding, so it's like a prep card, but it's not a prep card, I think. Yeah. Um, but you can obviously then use pinpoint to then cycle that. So like having a lot of options for pinpoint. So I think that would, I think like this Miles Spider-Man protection with pinpoint is actually pretty decent. Yeah. No. 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 Pinpoint's an interesting card, um, and it's more interesting that it's an ally. You know me, I like allies that don't go away. Uh, I mean, it's it, it's almost like they're an upgrade or a support. But they're more limited, right? Because you only have three, which I like. Yes. Yeah. So I, I like how you like make those choices. Like the fact that I couldn't make the multiple man, multiple man and pinpoint thing work, I think is interesting, even though I didn't like it at the time. Right. Um, right. Because you were trying to make that deck work. But um, yeah, I don't know. It was fun. Uh, I enjoyed this. All right. So do we, should I tell my stories now? quick stories sure all right so um black widow play mat i bought black widow play mat for um just because when i was at kind of heroes i wanted to support this store in addition to buying food and stuff like that i wanted to buy something from them and i didn't want to carry a lot back because of course i was flying back home afterward so i bought a black widow play mat opened it Whatever. Black Widow is my favorite hero. I, again, I I'm, I think I'm back to that. Um, and I was like, okay, now I got a Black Widow playmat. Fine. Like, I don't know that I'll use it because I got 50 other playmats. And, like, I find the player playmats a little small anyway. Um, so, anyway. They're like, the standard size, right? They're just the standard. They're a standard playmat. Yeah, like, they're a standard playmat. But I like the big ones from the campaign ones just because, you know, it's just gives you a little bit more stuff but i guess if you're playing on a limited size table or whatever it's fine but anyway i i would not have bought black widow playmat like clearly she's been that playmat's been out forever and i haven't bought it except to support the store so i opened it i even played with it when i was playing at the store i played with that one and my kind of heroes playmat so like i had kind of heroes for the villain i had black widow for myself so it's been used so then mother's day comes around and my wife and i typically don't buy each other's gifts but I showed her the Black Widow playmat and she was so excited. Like, because I kind of gave it to her and I'm like, I figured out actually that if you put this under your blender, it doesn't make a lot of noise because she'll like bring the blender into the basement not to wake up the kids in the morning, whatever else. I'm like, actually, I figured out if you put a playmat under the thing. So she got so excited um, to use the Black Widow playmat. So I may never again play on the Black Widow playmat, but it might be a blender dampener for us. So that's my wow. Black Widow play mat story. I I thought I thought it was gonna go like when you said blender, I thought it was gonna go for like a much like a much darker like. No. She used it one time and then like it like exploded and got crap all over your play mat and nope. it's like ruined forever. Nope, nope, not ruined, not whatever. Just it's a good dampener. So if if you're like, what do I use play mats for? I'm done with gaming forever. You can use it for a dampener for your blender, and that way it'll make less noise. That's uh, that's <laughs> how I feel about Black Widow, huh? I mean, well, I'm glad you didn't. I, I'm glad you didn't give up the kind of heroes play mat. So I feel good about that. Yeah. Well, actually, all right. I'll be honest. I'll go a step further. I I think I ended up giving her another play mat that I had instead because it was like stitched on the edge and like a little bit thicker, like. Yeah, so it ended up, like, I was trying to tell that story to make it a good story, but the bottom line is I actually think I ended up giving her a different play mat for the uh, the dampener effect, um, and I have my Black Widow play mat back. But, um, yeah, so Wasteland liked that story, apparently, or she laughed at something else that happened, but uh, we, we, gotta, we gotta laugh at a Mary, at least. Um... So that's that one story. And then what was the other thing I said we were going to talk about after? I don't know. Uh, we were talking about the raffle, but you already did that. Um, we did the raffle. Um. Oh, other games I've been playing. 
Was that it was something? No, you're talking about TV shows. I think. TV shows. That's what it was. All right. So have you been? All right. Well, I mean, there's lots of TV shows. So I finished Obi Wan. Did you watch that one? Yeah. I mean, I watch uh, for most of the Star Wars and Marvel stuff. I watch within one to two days, unless I'm traveling. Generally. Okay. So what are your thoughts on Obi Wan? Just general uh, thoughts, no I, specifics. I liked it. I liked it. Um, you know, I thought uh yeah i thought it was really hard for them to i feel like anytime like rogue one or whatever right like uh it's just really tough to like fit a thing where the it is in the middle of like two things it clearly has to fit into um but you know overall given those constraints i thought it was good uh i thought uh i thought that definitely like retconned <laughs> some stuff to to make that show successful um well i figured which, depending on how diehard you are it can be i think jarring i but i I liked it a lot i i liked it way more than i thought i would now there's some dumb stuff right like there's some stuff you're like why would they ever do that or whatever but you know what i whenever i think about that in movies and shows and whatever else i'm like that is so stupid that person would never do that or why would they do that then i think about my own personal life and i'm like how many dumb stupid things have i done in my life that people would be like that person would never do that like if my life was a movie i feel like like that person would never do that would come up all the time so like maybe that person would do that right you know what i mean like people make mistakes in life so i i try not to overthink these movies and shows too much at this point just because i feel like yeah no we all do dumb crap so yeah absolutely i could see obi-wan doing some dumb stuff or whoever like miss marvel whatever like all these shows we're talking about like people get so nitpicky about stuff and for me it's just about did i enjoy what i watched was it entertaining for me i try not to overthink it i overthink way too many things in my life so like that that was my thoughts i i liked obi-wan way more than i thought i would like when i and when I saw it, I don't know, maybe it's just my thoughts on Star Wars overall. Like, I was just not excited to see it. Like, I love Mandalorian, but Boba Fett was, eh, it was fine. It was- I, I had high hopes for Obi-Wan just because I enjoy, um, I enjoy the, the prequel universe. Uh, and e- Ewan is a good actor, too. Uh, yeah. Like, he's definitely, even outside of Star Wars, like, or definitely outside of Star Wars. <laughs> Wait, what uh, else did he do? Has he done anything else in life? Uh, like his... Are you being facetious? No, no. I literally have never heard or seen him anywhere else. Uh, Ewan McGregor? Yeah. Uh, he's been in... Uh, I know him from like Moulin Rouge at one point. Uh, he was in... What else has he been in? I feel like I've definitely seen him around. Um... Uh, let's see. That's all right. I didn't mean to put you on the spot. I just, I didn't realize he was literally in anything else because I've never seen him before. He's, he's in a ton of stuff. Uh, yeah. You Um, say that and then Moulin Rouge is the thing you pulled up out of all the things in the world. Moulin Rouge and Star Wars are his like, I mean, to be fair, Star Wars is honestly his claim to fame, but like, I've never heard of this guy before. Oh really? Uh, I definitely have seen him in various things. Um, I don't know. I'm not like a big movie buff kind of thing, so uh, I'm not good at like just like referencing things off the top of my head for yeah, movies no, specifically. No, no, no. I'm going to keep putting you on uh, the spot then because that's more entertainment. I I, I I uh, <laughs> I like I, I watch TV. Uh, like we were watching Castle on TV. Uh, Never and, you know, it. like any of these kind of long, long running, like whatever, it's like seven seasons long. Right. And they always have like these actors who come in. Right. Of just like because it's a it's a crime murder detective kind of thing. So they always have like it's just like, you know, they have their core crew of people and then they always have to have like it's a new crime thing each episode. So like there's always an influx of new like actors they have to put in. That's like a new set of people are murdered with like the people that you think murdered said person, family, friends, whatever. Right that is that plot um right. they're always like people i'm just like this person looks really familiar and i'm just like i can never place <laughs> like where, where it came from and, yeah, yeah. Like, and then it, you like look it up on imdb like that exact episode you like you're like ah oh, that's the actor's name you click on you're like oh yeah duh like it was in that show that happens to me like constantly uh speaking of which did so you like, see um knives out yes 
Yeah, that that was great. Yeah, uh, that's a movie. Netflix paid a ton of money for the second the sequel, so and it's got Captain America in it, so it's got something Marvel related in there. Yeah, um, uh, that's how, yeah, how you slide that in. Um, but yeah. Well, no, anyways, no, you going just back, murder mystery and all that, and like trying to figure out yeah. who it was. Like, I love shows and movies like that. That were like you're trying to figure it out and like they give you enough clues that you can and then they do the like flashback at the end and it's like oh i should have caught that right like yeah yeah i mean yeah. i don't know I, I love stuff like that yeah uh but yes going back to your original thing uh with uh obi-wan uh i really enjoy the prequel like universe uh because it's like when the you know jedis were in power blah blah, blah. Um, so I was interested to see just like more of obviously it's like po- post that because uh, yeah you know the Jedi lost uh, it's it's but, between uh, it's between the last episode of the prequel so episode three and yeah episode three Rogue One and episode in Rogue One so like I was still interested to see like kind of where they were gonna go with it um, I was expecting it to to stay on Tatooine because I did also read. Um, or I listened to the audiobook for the Kenobi book, okay. uh, which does take place all on Tatooine. So I expected it potentially. I was curious if like it would, you know, like before seeing the trailers, at least like uh, I was curious when they announced the show, if it would like rehash stuff from the book. Um, but, you know, it did not, uh, which is, I think, fun for fans. Uh, yeah. That they're not just retelling stories that they've already told. And, and Kenobi was written in the like, post disney acquisition so it wasn't one of those like led like extended un- expanded universe kind of things that disney just like killed off uh um but that book if you're interested in the like kind of like his life on tatooine like that's what that book is um uh but it's not nearly as like flash and exciting i think as uh the tv show yeah, no, I, I like the TV show a lot. All right, so then there's Miss Marvel. What are your thoughts on Miss Marvel so far? Uh, pretty mixed. Uh, like I think it's a good show. Uh, especially for I think that was something that was catered towards younger, uh, like younger adult kind of. You know what? Like why I, keep, I think uh, I keep hearing that. Uh, but I don't think that's true. I'll get into that in a minute, but I don't think that's true. Um, but I, I think the thing that's tough for me, and I said this to you, is that um being a person who has read the comics, I think it's like, I think it's always jarring and tough when you have history and context going into it. Right. Um, and I get, I get like some of what they said, which is like the, her abilities can look, can conflict with like the Reed Richards, Fantastic Four, uh, uh, Mr. Fantastic sure. kind of stretchy kind of thing and not wanting to necessarily, I guess, confuse or it's Overlap. expensive to do a TV yeah. show. But, you know, like the light thing, I think just is that, that like, ha- like being a fan of it. And then even in the game, right? Like it is like, like, even if you just play Marvel champions, you can kind of see it with like in big in and that other stuff. It just feels like it's not, she doesn't feel like Miss Marvel in that respect to her. I know, but I uh, love like, it. I, I gotta be honest. I love the light stuff. Like for me, uh, that's cooler superpower than the stretchiness one. Like, and what they're doing with it and making it shielding and making it attached to the bangle. And again, I don't want to spoil too much, but like, I, I like, oh, all yeah, I, 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 the whole bangle thing, I feel like I, I do not like, but oh, okay. Um, See, I'm the opposite. I love all of that. Um, but you also don't read the comics and stuff. I no, think. I don't like, absolutely not. And so like, like part of it's just like it, like, just like in big it's like her signature thing and like that is not like she kind of like stretches and it it just feels like her powers are feels very tacked on um but i think they do a great job of like the other part of like the whole ultra ego side of it i think is See, awesome I, and i'm and i'm the opposite ironically and don't get me wrong i love the cultural stuff they're adding and i love the fact that i just feel like it drags because of it i feel like they could have done all of that in less time um, but honestly, that was potentially part of my problem with Falcon Winter Soldier as well. Um, the shows I tend to like don't focus on the alter ego side as much. Um, well, I mean, when, like, I guess like when the superpower part of it is like a thing they're trying to play down, I feel like 
what you have left is the ultra ego side. Uh, well, sure. And so, yeah, I don't know. Like they, they basically like totally rewrote that character, which I know you say they do that in MCU, but I feel like it is probably the most egregious one out of all of them for me, like as a person who, and I'm not even like the most hardcore Marvel fan by any means, but like Miss Marvel is definitely like one of the more popular like ones in the last decade of like new yeah. superheroes. But um, I feel like you say they and- made it as young adult and like the big thing for me is like, and well, my that's kids, just what they said when they did it. Well, that's what they said, but like there's so much slow in that show that like, I don't know. My kids are surviving through it. I'm shocked because my kids can't survive two minutes of like downtime in a board game. But like, there's a lot of slowness in that, which I feel like lends away. That, from... I feel like that's I feel like that's just that's just a Disney trait of like how they do TV shows because I feel like they bring in these like movie people to like do TV shows and TV shows just have different pacing for like I mean you've complained about like forget young adult like you've complained about this for like uh, a bunch of their shows right so like oh yeah I think it's just a hallmark of how they're doing it and not necessarily an audio like i don't know if they factor that in but like loki too. there was no downtime i mean i guess there was the whole relationship thing but it was so quick like comparatively like i complained about the last episode of loki because it was all downtime um but like i love miss marvel's superhero stuff that's going on and i like a lot of the downtime stuff that's going on or alter ego i don't want to call it all downtime But, like, I love a lot of that stuff. But I also feel like a lot of that could have been cut. And honestly, Stranger Things, uh, we're we're talking about Stranger Things, getting to that. Have you seen, are you all the way up to date on that? Or I know I don't watch any of Stranger Things. Oh, you don't do it at all? Okay, I'm going to say, I think there's some downtime in that as well. That, like, there's some storylines that I don't care about. You know, I just want them to get back to the, the cool, fun stuff. Like, Stranger Things, I feel like, the last couple episodes of Stranger Things that came out today were an hour and a half and two and a half hours. Like, that's a movie. Literally, two episodes of the shows are lengths of movies. And actually, episode seven before the... So, the way they did season four, and I don't know if they did this all the way throughout, but they broke it into two parts. It was the first seven episodes, and they left you on a cliffhanger. And then they had episode eight and nine that came down, like, months later, um, which just came out today. And I watched one and a half of those episodes. But, like, one of them was an hour and a half. We saw that. And then we got into the two and a half hour episode. And it's like, okay, two and a half hours is a movie. Literally, it's a movie. And it's not a lot of downtime. But, like, the downtime stuff, like, they probably could have cut stuff from earlier in the season to, like, make it more about the action later on, if that makes sense. Um... So I don't know. That's a a common refrain for me, though. Like, I don't want to see normal life. And I know people are like, oh, my God, look, movies are doing this now and they're showing normal life and this and that. And I'm like, I don't want to see people struggling economically. I don't want to see people like living party life like um, like Iron Man. Right. Like on both ends of the economic spectrum. Like, I don't want to see that stuff. Like, I don't. None of that matters to me. Are you are you like not a big fan of like a lot of the like highly critically acclaimed things? Oh no, generally, yeah, no, no. Because if it's an like Academy that, that Award like, winner, like I, yeah. I feel like that's like that to a T, right? Yeah, no, I don't care about any of that. Um, yeah, I want to see. Now, don't get me wrong; I don't want to just see an action movie too, because I've seen movies where they have none of the downtime stuff, and like I get overwhelmed, sensory overwhelmed, at points too. I'm not saying I just want to see the cool stuff, but I also am saying I'm also one that made fun of the Hobbit movies and Lord of the Ring movies, which people love for like, there's too much like hopping Wait, around Hobbit and being movie? excited in downtown or downtime. Well, not the Hobbit the movies. Hobbit I'm movie? sorry. Lord of the Ring movies, not Hobbit movies. Lord of the Rings movies. I thought there was too much downtime too, especially in the extended editions. Oh my gosh. It was ridiculous. I mean, have you read the books, man? There's tons of downtime in the book. <laughs> First of all, I realize now, so I'm also going through, so this is a good time to bring this up. I'm also going through the Lord of the Rings books now for the first uh, time. Oh, with your kids? With my daughter. Or just 
my daughter oh, nice. is she's into Stranger Things. We're watching that together. We're doing Lord of the Rings together. My son and I are back to Mistborn. I don't know if you've done the Mistborn books, but I've done a lot of this lately. I just realized like TV shows, uh, movies, series. Like as a family, we're doing Miss Marvel, and we've done all the Marvel stuff. My son and I did Obi Wan together. My daughter and I. I'm watching way too much TV. Is what I've just figured out. Is, is what... I feel like that's basically what you told me. Uh, I watch like the you know like I guess the Disney stuff only comes out like not. It's like very rare they overlap and there's any like gaps between new I guess Star Wars or Marvel shows. Well, Obi Wan and Miss Marvel overlapped a little, but yes. For yeah, the but then there's gonna be a break when Miss Marvel ends, and I think before She Hulk comes out, right? Because she's like August is in she time, the next and then one? Miss Marvel. Yeah, yeah, and then I think. But see, I feel like her alter ego stuff will be interesting, because it'll be like court cases and stuff, right? Like, well, uh, it's supposed to be a comedy too, which I am looking forward to. Oh, a com- see, I uh, love comedies. Yes. Uh, I know. Like, I, I enjoy seeing Marvel flawed and them trying new things versus it just being more of just the movies. More I guess. The same. Um, you know, like Doctor Strange, like Multiverse of Madness was a. You know, they brought a different director, and it was supposed to be their first like horror esque one. Obviously, it's not like a super horror movie. No, I like I like I like that. I've watched that again twice recently, and I thought that was great too. Um. So, well, here's it. I had an example a second ago of like another thing that like bothered me. That was like, I don't know when they get. Too much. Look, if I go to see a superhero movie, I want to see superhero stuff most of the time. Like it drives me crazy when they don't get their like costume to last ten percent of the movie. You know what I mean? Where it's like their origin story or whatever. Like I don't give a crap about that. I'm, I'm still waiting for the Miss Marvel costume, man. I'll, I'll, right. Well, that's know. what my daughter said. My daughter said today, like after the last like, episode, she's like, she's like, "Dude, I see the when poster. Did she get her where's, costume? Where, where's the costume? Yeah." Uh, it's like classic origin story, right? Right, uh, but when it's a TV show, it feels even worse, right? Because now you're talking about six episodes at 40 minutes apiece. You're talking about how long before you see that? Like, that's that's a lot of origin story. Have you... Did you... Do you did you subscribe to Marvel Unlimited? No. For the comic stuff? You no. did not? I've never read one Marvel comic, I don't think. Uh, I was, I was going to be curious if you were... Uh, what you because you, you're doing the like Marvel stuff, uh, with your daughter, uh, as well. And if I actually she... asked her, and she she's an artist and she's actually taken some comic book classes. Ironically, her teacher, his name is Miles, um, and he and his father play Marvel Champions together, so tying it all back together. And so I was like, oh, maybe I end up giving him one of the kind of heroes things. Uh, or actually, my thought was her last comic book class where, I mean, she's going to take more classes with him. No question about it because she, she absolutely enjoyed it. But our last class together, I asked him if he had tried Sinister Motives yet and if he had played Miles, you know, knowing his name's Miles. And he actually likes DC better than Marvel, but that's a whole nother thing. Um but his name's Miles, and I was like, oh, Miles, I'll end up getting him Sinister Motives if he doesn't have it already. But he said he, he and his dad were halfway through it already, so he clearly had it. But that was my thought, is I was going to go buy him Sinister Motives as, like, a thank you, you know, as a teacher gift, whatever. For uh, I mean, it's not her official teacher. It's like a, uh, you know, after-school camp type thing. Um, yeah. But yeah, no, I, I thought that was kind of cool to just run into somebody randomly who is a fan of Marvel Champions uh, and he and his dad play it together, which was really cool because he's clearly like a teenager just out of school. Maybe he's in college. Maybe he's just past college. But like, you know, a younger guy um, who, you know, played Marvel Champions with his dad. So uh, I definitely wanted to encourage that as much as possible. Nice. And his name's Miles. Like, I mean, how can you not? Right, like when Miles was Jess, in, I mean, if Miles was his favorite. It was his not there. Like he's a DC guy. <laughs> like he clearly. Well, I just mean like in the Marvel universe. Yeah, I don't know that. I didn't ask him that. Um, because I, I mean, I talked to him a couple times. 
uh i mean the only way i found out is i told him i went to comic heroes and played it and like then we got into a discussion he's like oh yeah i played that with my dad um i I don't know so stuff like that is very cool that like people are playing marvel champions with their parents like i'm playing with my kids but like it's cool to see even like older kids are playing it with their parents so i don't know that's that's what's great about co-op games to me is like it's one of those things where competitiveness is not an issue. So it is a generational, like, cause games have been around forever. You know, I, I go to Panera Bread by me and I see literally four retired ladies, clearly all probably in their seventies and eighties playing Mahjong together. Um, and it was funny cause I heard a rules debate break out the other day. I'm just laughing cause I'm like, that's hilarious that they're still fighting over rules for a game as old as Mahjong and playing as long as they clearly have in their lives. Um, you know, fighting over Mahjong rules. Like, there's rules to learn even in, like, you know, when you're in your 80s or whatever. So that that was great to me. Um, I don't know. So gaming being this multi-generational thing, and I think co-ops just add to the accessibility of gaming because now, like, I'm playing with you. And you and I are working together. So I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I guess I got a little nostalgic there or whatever, whatever the word is. But like, I love what we're doing with games now. Yeah, it, it's still like a weird conversation with me with people because a lot of people don't think of co-ops oftentimes uh, yeah. when you talk about games um, and you have to like explain. Or like if you say you exclusively play co-ops, right? For the most part, uh, it's like uh, people don't even necessarily know what you mean because that that they're just not exposed to it of course yeah Um, they know monopoly like that's what you grew up with you grew up with uno or like even even not monopoly right like like Catan. i feel like comes up a lot right like so Catan, or like kind of a bunch of the gateway kind of games people have heard of but almost the only like co-op one that exists is like pandemic right that i think a lot of people have heard that kind of breaks that that people have heard of because forbidden island for sure is a gateway that i actually gave it my is boss but my it, it doesn't like it doesn't it's not like it's not as common right like it's not like it is a gateway game but it's not the gateway game right yeah um if that makes sense uh but yeah it's it's interesting because like i think every time i talk about board games like at work or whatever for like oh we'll do like an offsite and we'll we'll have board games like games that i bring are very different from the games that everyone else brings and most of the games i bring aren't even the games that i play because i think they're very like you know i'm not bringing like marvel champions to teach people right like that's not what i'm bringing to like a offsite um yeah so mary says i really love that co-op and solo games are becoming such a big thing and i agree obviously i don't think we're at the forefront of it i think we were very lucky with our timing when we started one stop co-op shop or even co-op cast which was our podcast beforehand um i think we're very lucky with the timing i mean it came out the year that gloomhaven came out and uh i forget uh, code names i think code names duet i don't remember there were a couple of big ones that came out the year we started and i think that definitely sparked a new generation because my thought was there's no way we're gonna have enough content to cover like even every other week like new releases and we've been doing it for over five years now so i'm very happy with the amount of co-op stuff that's been released and the variety of co-op stuff that's been released too over the last five plus years yeah uh i i mean at the time i feel like back then i was just happy that lord of the rings existed as a game that yeah. there was uh like not even co-op like just a solo game that you could play a constructed card game for which was unheard of i feel like before then right yeah yeah but now that's all they want to do with lcgs is uh yeah i I get it it makes a lot of sense to me why like i I feel like they've done a bunch of competitive ones and one they don't have the distribution i think like supply chain like not even with the recent supply chain things to like roll lively i think do competitive lcgs very well like asmodee specifically uh, like I think you need something like Wizards or kind of something direct. But uh, Asmodee is like the biggest player out there, right? Beside Hasbro. I mean, I know you say Wizards, maybe they're up there at the same size, but like Hasbro owns Wizards. Well, right. Yeah. So that's the point. Like, 
Well, it's it, I don't even know if it's the size, just like the consistency, right? Like, w like magic is such a big thing, and like it's not even magic, like magic, Pokemon, uh, you know, like the big three kind of CCGs, they live and die basically on their ability to get product out to people on time around the world. And yeah. as you know, like FG, that is not what FG that is known not for. a strong point of FG, uh, for sure. And right. so, like, it's Asmodee, just, which it's is hard. funny because yeah, exactly. they do distribution. Like yeah, they do exactly. Their own distribution, which is crazy. But, but yeah, you can imagine like how that would kill any competitive. Like it just like it doesn't like completely kill it, but like you're definitely making it harder for that game to be successful, right? Well, but I will say they're doing a freaking great job with Marvel. Um, uh, what's the other one? Crisis Protocol. But Terrence, I got to pee real quick. Why don't you talk to Mary and answer her question? Or, or her Talk comments. to Mary and just answer her questions. Uh, I've never been a fan of competitive games. Too much chance in them for me. And they create bad feelings. She also says, uh, even the addition of solo mode to tabletop RPGs has been huge for me. So if you want to talk about that, go ahead. Or if you want to just talk about yeah. your new house, talk about that. I'll be do back. You, uh, I guess how late do you want to go on this thing? Because I know, I don't know if I you mean, have We can call tomorrow. it too, but I got a piece so bad that I can't even think about it right now. So you talk, I'll be back. All right. Uh, yeah. So I'm probably in a similar camp um, that I really like co-op and solo games a lot. Uh, they've probably been what I've played mostly exclusively. Uh, I'm not opposed to playing competitive games, but I definitely enjoy uh, the co-op and like the solo ones tend to just be this like brain burning puzzle kind of thing and. I enjoy, I mean, in constructing games, right? Like systems that you can break down and kind of dig into. Um, I think for me, the co-op stuff, uh, a lot of the things that I enjoy, even from like work is like working with other people and discussing and talking about things. And I found in a lot of multiplayer games, uh, you tend not to have nearly as much of that discussion. Or if it is, it's like a lot of just not stuff related to the game or trash talking or what have you. Um, and so uh, it's, you know, like it's just a kind of different feel of a thing. Um, and so I, I think the co-op games have really kind of opened up board games for me uh, of just being able to like play together with other folks. Um, but, you know, at the same time, I also get a lot of, that enjoyment too out of i think like team versus team games um like i played uh the star wars lcg for a little bit and actually that the 2v2 mode that they introduced in that star wars lcg was a lot of fun for me um so uh competitive games where uh i think you just get to work and cooperate with people um and so that level of kind of discussion and things are super enjoyable um and kind of what i get the most out of playing board games um, but yeah, I mean, it's, I didn't think one of the fun things at going to some of these cons, uh, like kind of heroes and kind of the rings is being around people that, um, uh, all enjoy this stuff. So like, I, I know sometimes when you're at like competitive games and tournaments and stuff, like you're not as willing to share your secrets or whatever, but like, and, and co-op games, everything's kind of open and out on the table. Um, because there isn't anything you're trying to hide, right? Like, uh, like if you know, like you play a game with someone and they bring a cool deck or they do a cool thing and it's something you've never seen before, uh, it's a thing that it's a feel just good wine to learn. Not a yeah, feel just bad like moment. yeah, it 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 breeds collaboration and cooperation. Uh, hence the co-op part of it. Uh, and I think that's fun. Whereas like I I find sometimes with competitive games like if you're in a similar environment where you have a bunch of people, it, it, I think it's really dependent on the people you play with. Uh, Absolutely. Which again is true in co-op games too, right? Well, right. But like, Cause alpha game, I, I think that the alpha game is a thing. Um, but I do tend to find that uh, in general, people are much more willing to cooperate and be helpful. Um, well, alpha whereas... gamers, the thing beta gamers, the thing too. I don't know if you've yeah. heard that or if that's the term I made up. What What is the definition of beta gamer? So guess, for me, a beta gamer is, what was that? Just to make sure I understand what you're saying. No, no, no. I mean, do you have a guess at what my thought is on that? 
Uh, someone who follows versus leads, I guess. Yeah, someone who's always like, no, 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 I don't know. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? You know what I mean? And never will make that decision. Like, I think that's a problem as well um, in, in cooperative games. Like, I almost think sometimes that's a worse problem because then they're not actually playing. Oh, I don't know. I guess alpha players just drive other people away. But you can just avoid them to some degree or just shut them down. Um, unless everybody at the table is like, I don't know, backs down or whatever. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I think both can be a problem, but a bigger problem to me is what Mary's mentioned. Uh, competitive games. Uh, I'll play competitive games, but I most prefer co-op. Uh, she says the ganging up on one player always drives me nuts. King making drives me nuts in uh, in uh, competitive games as well. Uh, and she says, yeah, baby gaming can get uh, very annoying. <laughs> yes. When somebody just won't make their own decisions. That, that does. I, I tend to find, bit. I tend to find beta gaming happens a lot with people. I try to force into playing games with me. <laughs> sure. Uh, Cause they feel like, dumb or they don't want to, they, they feel like they're going to make a mistake and they're so worried about me. Yeah. And they don't really know what they're doing. Right. Cause you're yeah. like teaching them the game. Um, or they're, yeah, like, I, I find sometimes when I, like, get uh, my girlfriend or partner to play with me, she she wants me to make all the decisions for her. Uh, and I'm like, well, I could, if I want to do that, I would just play by myself, you know? Uh, what I find works, and, and I mentioned this several times before, is soloing. Not me soloing, but them soloing, yeah. and I run the AI. Because last time I did that with my wife, I forget. I think we're playing Arnak, actually. Lost Ruins Arnak. And she goes, I attack you for four. Oh, no, it was. It was Marvel Champions. She goes, I attack you for four. She still feels like she's attacking me, even though I'm literally doing just the, the normal enemy turns, right? I'm just flipping over the enemy cards, whatever. I'm not making literally any choices for the end. But she still felt like she was attacking me. So it gave her, because she viewed me as the opponent, she wasn't, like, expecting me to help her throughout but at the same time it it gave me the opportunity to give her different options right so it's like well don't forget you can do this this and this also clearly you choose what you think is best but i just want to give you all your options right so i i do think that for me certainly i'm not going to play my with uh marvel champion solo with my wife forever but I do think it's a good way to introduce a game to them and also give them the opportunity to like build their own confidence in something and then give them the same deck to play over and over until they get really comfortable with it. Then when you play with them, they're going to be more of an expert at the deck than you even are. And so like they won't ask for that help all the time. I don't know. That, that's, that's a personal approach I take, but I, I do think it's a pretty good one. Are you still there, Terrence? I am. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I just feel like she, for my partner, she's just, like, not really interested in, in playing games, so she's very much doing it as, a, like, a favor kind of thing. Yeah. Um. So at this point, I just don't ask her. She's, like, really excited. <laughs> Oftentimes no, I when, uh, when I have friends come over, she's like, then they can play games with you, and I don't have to. <laughs> I think that, that's yeah. her attitude about well, it. And I, I find that's true a lot of times too. Like my uh, wife is not a big gamer. Like I used to have her play test for us. I used to have her do all this stuff. I don't barely ask her to play games anymore. But when she is yeah. willing to do it, I try to create the most ideal situation. And sometimes I feel like that is letting her solo. I'm still there. We're still sharing an experience. But I don't need to play Marvel Champions with my wife, right? I got I got you on Fridays. I got Mary. I've got you know Brant. I've got everybody else I can play Marvel Champions with. Um, I, I don't need my wife to play that game with me. Um, yeah, I mean, there's something nice about sitting down and playing physical cards with people across the table, like we could do at the con, right? Like, I mean, you it, know, I don't care. It's never, that. it's never quite the same virtually. <laughs> like, you know, it, it, it just even independent of TTS, right? Like, just like being physically in person with someone is of kind course. of nice to no, which absolutely. I, for me, I don't get the chance to do that very often for my, like oftentimes when I'm playing board games with people, it's just like, not, not these kind of games. I think there is that barrier to entry of like, 
like even people who know the game like i have a friend in town who will who I, we did galaxy's most wanted on standard campaign together and he enjoyed it and had fun but like i think for him it's just like he will never get into the deck building and the like whatever part well, but right? he, he doesn't owns need to part. you could build like you enjoy that so you could build two decks that work well yeah, together. Yeah, I, I, I think he like you know, like you can hand a thing to him, but it's like not the same for him either, right? Like, yeah, he would like to do it, but also he would not enough to actually go and do it. You know, I gotta be honest. I mean, it, it does feel like a challenge for me to build. I, I realize I am not a streamlined builder of things when I try to build Marvel Champions decks. My initial deck is never ever less than 50 cards like i find it very hard to build a deck less than 50 cards and for me it's always cutting good things at that point to get down to 40 cards um that's why i was exploring the can you make a good 50 card deck because like for me i'm always like oh and i want to add this and i want to add this and i want to use this um for yeah it just feels like I always want more than less. And that's probably not good as a game designer too, because you really should cut out a lot of that stuff. So maybe it's a good exercise for me and like how to cut out stuff you really like. I, I think that's just how deck construction works, right? Like you have an idea and I think the card pulls out a point where uh, there are a lot of options. I mean, not necessarily a ton for every kind of thing. Like if I like, you know, if I want card draw, there are limited options there, right? Like if I want these things, but like, uh, I think for a lot of heroes, if you like go down an idea, right? Like there often are more than one way you can take it, which is a good sign to me. Uh, and that's only become better over time, right? And so like, you know, I was looking at, for instance, uh, this Miles uh, pinpoint thing, right? Like I could go, you, you, you have a few options, right? Like you can go just like trait wise with Miles, he's both champion and web warrior. Like, I could go down the champion path, which I think is probably the common one, not specific to Miles, but like with Pinpoint, because it requires a champion hero, right? Uh, or champion identity to, to even play that ally. Right. Um, so I could have gone with a totally different suite of heroes or allies, which you I, you wouldn't have Web of Life and Destiny. I decided I wanted to go down the Web Warrior thing because that's unique to Miles and that like you can't you can't play Pinpoint outside of Miles, outside of like the Miles deck to like build this deck right um sure and so pinpoint was the only champion ally i had and i won and i thought like allies leaving play combos well with web of life and destiny because that also draws you cards so like you actually want to cycle those cards and then kind of cycle that stuff um and so that's kind of where i went but you'd also do like nick fury and just like have allies that you're cycling through um or you could go heavy into you know upgrades or things that are leaving play so like you know, I was playing around with like Hide Avenge with Nova or, you know, any of those like, like one of the reasons I picked Miles was because of he had those two one cost upgrades that trigger his specials. And so I was like, well, I can only cycle those with Pinpoint, right? Like you could use it and it doesn't feel that bad because you can just put it back into your deck, right? Um, yeah. And so, but at that point, like I've now, like if you were to build out any of these things, like you're now up to way past like 50 cards at that oh, point. Yeah, and absolutely. you really have to like, figure out like you, you basically don't want to have the valkyrie problem right which we've talked about just like it does a bunch of things and none of them you need to good. be flexible enough to solve a good amount of problems yeah. but you don't want to be too flexible that like you're not getting the cards that you need to actually do this the like main strategy you're trying to do right so yeah all uh, right so mary's had some good comments and we've uh skipped them for a minute so she said one of the things I really liked about being at the con was that everybody knew how to play, so there wasn't so much, what should I play, but more, if I do this, will it help? And I mean, I feel like that's you and me on Friday nights, too. Or even if we play with Mary, who is constantly watching and or playing with us, and I feel like, you know, when you play with people you play with often, or people that know the game very well... I mean, I don't know. I think I would annoy some people that know the game very well just because I do play so much random stuff. You're, like, used to me at this point. But, like, uh, it is good to play with people who at least know the game. And I feel like I know it well enough to at least, like, I mean, I should, right? I've streamed how many times <laughs> this game? It's yeah. Ridiculous. Well, you, you know, like, the, what the win conditions are. You can recognize the threats on the board. and You can recognize... Right uh but even if you have a different opinions on like what the most important thing to do is like you can at least have that conversation 
but I think that's important. And, and, and I can't stress this enough. As a game designer, as a game player, I can't stress this enough. When I play this game, I don't know the ideal thing to do every time. And I think that's okay. And even you, who I feel like is a better player of the game than me, like knows the game better than me, you still ask the question, should I do this or should I do this? And maybe there's not a right answer. And that, like there's enough randomness in the game to keep it fresh. And I think that's so important. Like, I don't think there should be a right answer because if there is, then your game becomes stale. And I think that's- Well, then you're just, then you're just going through the motions, right? Right. Uh, And that's the problem. Uh, I mean, that being said, if I just told you what to do all the time, wouldn't that just be rude? I feel like I just tell you the obvious things, like you should always draw your card first. Well, right. Like if you have a way to draw the card and it doesn't impact other decisions, right? Which yes. I feel like that's the only time where I'm telling you, come on, Peter, do this, do this thing. No, like, but you a know, lot of times like you even ask me like what you think I should do, and I, I think it's interesting because you value not drawing extra enemy cards. So, as an example, like whenever one of those crisis cards comes up that like has draw an extra card, that's the first. That's it. That is like all your attention goes to that, like you personally. Which means oh, yeah. stuff like symbiote suit is like an automatic no go for you because it's like draw extra crisis cards like and you know what I mean so like that is a Terrence specific thing I know that because like when we played at the Kana Heroes a lot of people were agreeing with me that they like that card a lot and don't mind the extra card because they feel like the benefit they get out of it is greater than the cost of it. But that's good because that means there's different options for different people. And I also think, and we've seen this a lot with the way different people play the game differently, like there's also a lot of ways to make the game um, play differently. Like Brant loves doing speed runs. Well, I don't know that he loves it, but like, you know, he cr- kind of created the speed run where it's like how many how can I do this in the least number of turns possible? Which is a very different game than playing on expert, like what we do a lot of times, add standard two, add this, do heroic, do this, that, the other, to make it as hard as possible. It's a very different game than playing standard and trying to do crazy stuff. Like uh, Steve at Beat the Game used to do like, let me see if I could play nine arrows on a turn with Hawkeye, right? Like it's a very different game. Um, and and I think the best part about Marvel Champions is it plays all those ways. Yeah, I I, I think they did a, uh, and they're getting to this point too, like, of uh, just like you can really tune the difficulty. Um, Absolutely. They're, they're giving you a ton of options, which to some degree can be bad. Of just like maybe there's too much. Uh, it's just like, do I play standard like? If I put standard two into a thing, is that harder than putting playing expert? Like, I, I feel like to some degree, like there are too many options sometimes. Well, um, and different modulars, right? If I play this modular, yeah. is it harder than standard two? Yeah, uh, I, I do still wish that they rated the difficulty, even if it was imperfect on the modulars. Yeah, I agree. Um, I've been uh, saying that about the, with the Saddler Brothers forever and with a lot of these games. I'm like, just give me a freaking difficulty rating on your stuff. Like, um, but I get why they don't do it, but it's just like, uh, you know, is what it is, I guess. But yeah, I, I do feel like close, some... right? Like, is this, uh, uh, it could be a three point scale, easy, medium, hard. You know what I mean? Like, why can't, I, I mean, that would be good enough um but yeah i mean to some degree there can be too many options sometimes like of just like what is really more difficult or not and obviously that is some somewhat depend on the heroes and other stuff you bring but um, well right that's part of it it's all dependent um but yeah i mean it's the nice thing is that uh people can adjust the stuff um um and there's different you know you, you have the campaigns though i I'm not as big a fan of the campaigns and not in that I don't like them, but I tend not to go back as much, right? Like I tend to really just enjoy the one-off kind of one and done. 
Well, uh, and to be honest, part of that is the story, right? Do you like yeah. exploring the story for the first time? I, I, I play all the campaigns at least once, if not more. Uh, I, I find it enjoyable to play them. It just, do you once I'm done with it, it's not, it's not new story? anymore. Or, or do you just like them for like experiencing the new mechanics? I, I enjoy the comic book panels and things. They're just not new, you know, the second time or third time. Well, right. That's what I'm time, saying. Right? Like, cause people say this game's not story based, but I, I disagree. Even the original box, those three modular or those three uh, villains go Scenarios, together. Yeah. There is a constant story that goes from one to the next to the next. And I love the story. And in fact, here's one thing that I'm not smart enough to figure out. I just figured out cause somebody said it once the, the campaigns themselves go from one to the next to the next and combine together. Like there is a overall story. Well, except for sinister motives. That's like a start of a new stuff. But I don't know if that, I don't think that will tie. I think that's a, a one off. Like, I don't think that's going to tie in with Mutant Genesis. It may like, or may not. Thing. And Mutant Genesis may start its own storyline. But at some point, like, if you've ever watched the first episode of Modern Family, getting back to shows, right? Did you ever, did you watch that show at all? Uh, I don't, I think I probably have, but I don't really know the show. All right. So, Modern Family is a sitcom. And the first yep. episode, they have like three stories going on. But at the very end, they tie all three of the stories together. And it's freaking great. Like, each individual story was great. And then when they tied them together, it was even, it, it multiplied the effect, right? So, for me, even if they're starting these different story threads, if they eventually bring them together, like, that's that's good enough. I, like, I want to know all about all the stories. And I don't mind if they don't tie them together at the end of one campaign box, right? As long as they eventually tie them together, I'm good with that. Yeah, I uh, they have been pretty public in interviews about um, Rise of Red Skull all the way to uh, Mad Titans being a connected thing with yeah. the Power Stones. Um, and I thought that was fun. Obviously, it's not like the most well written, or like it would not win like some award, you know. Like, by the as way, Gloomhaven thing. number one game on BGG isn't the best written thing either. By the way, in case anybody's wondering, I, I've heard I've heard that main story like is basically non-existent. No, I hate. I mean, I didn't. Here's the thing: I've played twenty five to thirty games of it, and I have no idea what the main story is. And I played Jaws of the Lion back to back to back, mm -hmm. week to week to week. And like I have no idea what's going on. Like the like the writing's not great. Like people aren't playing that game for that, for sure. Um, but I do feel yeah, like the oh go ahead. They're fun though, right? Like like I feel like it's it's good enough for a comic thing. They're fun. Um, yeah. But yeah, I mean it, it. It's like it's not meant to compete with Arkham Horror. I think in like the writing and the journey it's trying to take you to, right? But it's at the same time, I also feel like you don't have to invest as much. Like, you can play Marvel Champions for 30 minutes to an hour and be happy. Mar yep. Arkham Horror, if you play an hour, you want to play the next hour and the next hour and the next hour to get the end of the story. So, like, it depends what you're in the mood for, and it depends who you are personally. It goes back to those shows and movie tastes. Like, some people want all the backstory to the backstory the backstory the backstory to finally get to something interesting at the end and they feel like they've worked their way and earned their way to that conclusion whereas i just want to see fun stuff from the beginning right like i want everything to be fun along the way and that's why i have more problems with shows like falcon winter soldier and miss marvel even though i like miss marvel more than i like falcon winter soldier i feel like falcon winter soldier had other issues in the fact that he tried to just introduce too many characters and it got whatever. Um, but like for me, I like a good mix of action and story, but I want the story to lead me to care about the action more. If that makes sense. Like movies like saving private Ryan. I didn't like that movie because it was like all action and shooting and blood and like gore and like, like, I don't, well, I don't it's want... also super depressing <laughs> well right like i don't want that either you know what i mean i don't want i don't want just that 
Like, it's got to be a good... Like, I feel like Rogue One was almost my perfect movie. Where it's got everything. Well, I mean, my perfect movie is uh, is uh, Princess Bride. Because it's got literally everything. It's got comedy. It's got action. It's got story. But, like, it all ties together. In a, in a nice 90-minute, like, get-her-done, like, situation. Yeah, I, I think the one thing that people probably want to see at Marvel Champions is probably some of these, like, big event things uh, that seem to happen. And I don't know if they're translated as well in Champions yet. Um, and I don't know that they need to be. I, I mean, I would, I, I, still, I still would like to see them in the sense of, like, it would be fun to see, like, an epic multiplayer Gen Con quest or something, you know? But are you excited for every Marvel Champions release, though? Yes, but like I right. could know nothing about it, and I would still buy it. Uh, right, that's my doesn't point, mean though, I because because they never disappointed. Well, I mean, look, they they've had Mrs. Valkyrie, they've had Mrs. Hulk, but like even some of those cards in those packs are always going to be useful. Not always. Not, yeah, even in everything. the campaigns, I don't know if there's any campaign box where you've liked every single where every single scenario is like a banger, right? No, but there's enough good stuff in everything they've come out with that I'm still. Here's when it's going to hit the wall for me. It's going to hit the wall for me when something comes out and I don't care about anything in the pack. The only one that I don't care anything in the pack about right now. Guess guess which one. You could you could figure this out. Wrecking Crew? Yeah, Wrecking Crew. Like, I don't care about anything in that pack because it's literally, there's nothing that goes outside of the pack itself. And the pack itself is fine. But they've done it better in other scenarios. So, like, that's the only pack in the entire game. Like, if somebody's like, I want to buy Marvel Champions, what should I buy? What should I not buy? The what should I buy list is, like, a mile long. The what should I not buy list is, like, wrecking crew that's the only thing i'd say like if you don't care about being completionist that i don't think has any value outside of like you play it once and you've had some fun with it and like i would say that's one you could like not buy and play somebody else's copy at least once just to see what it is and then you'll be fine you know what i mean but there's no value outside of the box itself yeah, I mean, I agree with that. Like, I think this is like basically the boon of deck construction games as a whole, right? Is that uh, uh, if you enjoy deck construction even to a little bit, there's bound to be something fun in there for you, like uh, like pinpoint, right? Like this whole like me exploring pinpoint because I think that ally was interesting wasn't even in the decks precon, right? It was like a yeah. one copy card in that sixty card pack, right? Yeah, and it, it yeah, uh -oh. it had nothing to do with anything else in that entire pack. It was literally a one-off card, one of however many cards you got. Yep, I agree. All right, so let's let's catch up on Mary's comments and then we'll call it a night. Sound good? Sure. All right, so she says, "I'm not very good at balancing wanting to help a person get the most out of their hand, but letting them um, learn how to play." especially when they've constantly asking me what they should play. And again, that gets it back to that beta player thing. It's hard because like they know you're an expert at the game and that's why I choose to play solo. So here, here was my example I used with Mike the other day. Do you play video games at all? Like, do you play like Diablo? Are you a fan of that? I, I play, I, I probably play. Yeah. I play a good amount of video games. Okay. Do you know anything about the new Diablo Immortal? You were telling me about it. Uh, I did not get into it because um, I tend to avoid free-to-play stuff, but I understand the premise, and I've played previous Diablo entries. Okay, I played all the Diablo stuff. I love Diablo. I Literally, every release day for a Diablo game, I've taken off of work to like play through Did you take it. off for Immortal? I did not. I did not take off for Immortal. But I've played enough of it now, and I, I haven't played through the whole quote-unquote campaign. And I think there might be a conclusion, because there is a storyline that I'm following. Um, and it's funny, because after playing Diablo Immortal, I'm like, this is actually really good. Let me go back and play Diablo 3, and I did. And I was like, yeah, Diablo 3 is not as good as Immortal. Like, 
literally there's nothing about Diablo 3 that's better than Immortal. And I know you go, well, yeah, it's five to ten years later, of course. But, like, people are treating it like it's a crap free-to-play game. It's not. It is literally as good as what I would have paid $50 for, you know, five to ten years ago. And if you look at Diablo 3, people are still playing the crap out of that game. Like, they still have seasons and events and all this stuff happens. I've never put one red cent into any free-to-play game. Ever. And, like... I think Diablo Immortal is a very good game. So, but the point of Diablo Immortal, getting back to like how it relates to games, is one of the things that they do that you just can't do in board games, you just can't, is balance skill level. If I am playing Marvel Champions with you, and you have never played Marvel Champions before, we have to play standard which is going to be too easy for me and maybe too hard for you or just right for you. Or we have to play expert, which is just right for me, but way too hard for you. I mean, you can play Hawk. I mean, I could play. Yes. Yes. You could challenge yourself with a harder deck or give them a better deck. Touche. A little, but back to the point we talked about earlier, they don't give you a easy, medium, hard rating on stuff. Right? So like, there's no way for me to know you intentionally designed this hero to be worse so that you and I can play together. You can play Hulk, you play Valkyrie. I, I agree. Like those are the two I would say are are the ones that are a handicap to the player. But by the way, that reminds me, if the new stuff isn't out next week, we should play uh we should play Hulk Valkyrie against whatever. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, I think I told you that I probably won't be around next week because we're moving on sunday okay so next week uh i'm gonna play with somebody else um and or solo and or play a different game um i think brant said he wanted to do something with you like spirit island or something so yeah no i'd be i'd be covered i'd be good with whatever um all right so let's get to mary's next comment she says for deck construction i try to go more uh for interesting than most efficient we know that's my way of playing as well. Um, I've never constructed Doctor Strange OP because I actually try to play everything I put uh, in his deck. Uh, not just concentrate on his own stuff. <coughs> so in other words, not just put stuff in there just to get through to get to his yeah, like, not just signature, signature cards. My thing is I like flipping down even with heroes that don't typically need to flip down a lot. Uh, that's a Brant thing. <laughs> and and I I like the concept of flipping down, so I agree with that as well. I just I just hate losing a scheme, you know? Like, it, it feels worse to lose a scheme than to die for some reason. But I don't think we've ever officially died, have we? No, we usually call it when one person goes out just because, like... Right. Like, you could play the whole game, but that's not a very interesting stream. We have once or twice continued after somebody's died. That's usually when it's, like, close, though. Right. Not when it's, like, they're still on the first stage that we started. Well, yeah, at. yeah, yeah. No, at that point, we just call it. Um. So, yes, when I made these lose-to-death, lose-to-scheme situations, I mean, lose-to-death was, like, the long shot here. So, I'm, I'm sorry, everybody in that group. <laughs> but uh yeah i don't i guess to answer your question about the packs i think they're out two weeks from now so uh the 15th is when they're on this according to the store that should be the street release right. and i know i'm gonna have to miss some time at some point um because i'm going on my i think that's right before i go on my traditional family vacation so i think it'll actually be the week after that that i'll have to miss um so i think we'll be good i think i'm around on the 15th so every good, year i, I this think i'm out the week after for a work trip which week oh so we'll uh, both be 20, out the same week. So the 22nd like, yeah i'm out on the 22nd yeah no i'm out as well because that's my family vacation we go we usually go the week of july 10th this year we're going a week later july 17th and then the week after that all of my new puppies by the way have i even mentioned that did you know i was getting puppies you said uh and then i saw on the discord the photos yeah yeah Oh, I'm so excited. You we get, yeah. 
the breeder sent us new puppy pictures today so i i have new ones but i don't have my wife has them so i can't show them or anything but i'm super excited we're gonna go see them also very soon um anyway so yeah maybe i play with brant and mary next week or who knows maybe we play something not marvel champions um we'll see last me fridays what was that it's blasphemy for Fridays. Yeah, I just feel like we've done a lot of Marvel Champions, and I know there's a lot of new stuff coming out, but, like... Are you saying that, like, you're bored of Marvel Champions? Like, I, I guess I That's don't... the thing. That's that's the crazy thing. Like, I... Today was something new, but I always want to do something new, and I feel like you can always do something new with Marvel Champions. I'm not bored with it, but I also feel like I should contribute something else to the channel beside Marvel Champions. That's what Steve's for. <laughs> so I'm I'm just the Marvel Champions guy. Like I don't feel like I'm earning my keep. I guess. Um, no, that's just for the Friday stream, right? You do other stuff. That's true. Like sometimes you like. I mean, you're pretty consistent with the pod. I don't know how that's going with Mike doing the play stuff, but oh, you know. by the way, you're gonna be so <laughs> happy with our next pod. Mike and I were talking about it today. We've been back and forth a lot um oh yeah do you know what mike has do you know what's finally come o oh sworn oh sworn's here so we're gonna we're gonna literally i'm gonna take off of work next thursday or friday and get together with him and we're gonna play all day um and then do a pot about it nice i i have uh i did back it uh because you're the one that got us all to play at gen con like in 2019 i think well, because Mike was so into it. He's like, dude, you're going to love this game. And I did. And then we played it. It was freaking great. Now, will it's it a very hold up? Scenario. Uh, yeah, I'm curious if it will hold up. Uh, right. I, I don't know. Like, But Mike played enough of it. And I trust Mike's opinion. Even though it differs from mine a lot of times. Like, he knows what I like. And I think this game is going to check a lot of boxes that I like. The question is, will it be too hard to run? That is always my problem. With and games. also just like how big it is, is the other thing that makes is daunting for me. Like I've I realized mean, I, I, I realize I, I am moving away. Like as we even talk about that in Marvel champions versus like even Arkham Horror to some degree, like I'm just moving away personally from like larger campaign things just because they not that i don't enjoy like them it just it's hard to have that dedicated space i think especially because of this like not just because of the stream but just like i want to invest in marvel and the content is just pretty consistent yeah and so like just making the space for it because not because of this stream but the stream definitely helps put pressure to like build decks and invest in it and think about ideas and and stuff like that uh each week but I enjoy doing it um and that just means i don't have time to do these bigger campaigns and so like how like you mentioned what 30 games of gloomhaven just like it is hard to play a game 30 times in a row right like like in some semi-consistent manner i mean honestly i mean you've played spare parts now um that's yeah. why we made spare parts a 10 mission campaign we did not want it to have to be something you have to commit yourself to for a long time and it's funny because i think publishers and honestly we'll see how the public responds as well i think publishers shied away because of that um they wanted something bigger they wanted because people are like oh people are buying these hundred mission campaigns that's what they want i mean i think i think that stuff sells right like but i i'd be curious how many people finish like right. how many people finish those games like it has to be such a low percentage oh for sure the number the average number of times people play new games is like 1.5 meaning a lot of people play them 20 30 not a lot some people play them 20 30 40 times but a lot of people play them zero times or maybe one right so like yeah so that's the thing like a lot of games if they're not good especially game one if game one's not good you're not getting a second play out of most people well part of it too is like even if the game is good right like it's a it, it is just hard like especially if you're like like you're playing Osworn right and it is like a the standard four player kind of group thing that a lot of these games I think are, are 
best at or whatever in these kind of things. Uh, it is, it's just hard to get four adults to have a schedule that works and not have like, like, you know, you, right. Like you have this family vacation. So like you miss a week. Right. But like, yep. I'm sure every person in that game group in like this hypothetical, you know, thing I'm creating probably has a thing that's like that. And then like, now you're out a month right and like it's yep. like oh i'm gonna come back after a month like how often does that happen and, and just like that all often, the time. happens all the time right and it's just like it i think that just makes it hard for me to want to invest i right re- i also already have a bunch of them already well like, yeah from that's part of it too when i and yep. so i'm just like like oh sworn i backed back when i was backing a bunch of this stuff and so i think lately i just haven't been you know it's just like it has to be really exceptional or well, like, and, and uh, that's where Marvel Champions coming back to this game gets it right. Because the campaigns are fun. There are only five missions. And every villain can be played by itself. So you're getting value even if you're not still playing the campaign. And that's our goal with Spare Parts as well. We're going to have a 10 mission campaign. But every mission is going to be unique in the way that every Marvel Champions villain is unique. And so you can play each mission as a one-off. That's the goal, right? Yeah, that sounds that sounds like my sweet spot of stuff. Um, but you know, I'm just like an average adult that is too busy to play games. I also play video games too, so like it's just like bouncing all the hobbies that I have, right? Well, right. That's part of it. And I mean, we talked about shows for like the first 30 minutes of this discussion. So like to, to tie yep. it all up. So you said Ted Lasso, you've seen all the, the season so far. There's only like two seasons, I think. So oh, all there... the seasons goes, goes by pretty quick. Okay. Cause I've seen, uh, I'm all, I'm on episode 10, which I think is the last one of season one. Um, yeah. I, I think Ted Lasso is only two seasons as far as I know. Yeah. Okay. Season, season three. Uh, I think it's supposed to come out in 2022, but I, so just, just to put a bow around this, I thought that Ted Lasso was a comedy. It is certainly not. <laughs> I mean, I mean, there are comedic moments for sure. For, right. But it is definitely the drama, a drama, comedy, dramedy. I, I thought, I thought it was a show about soccer. I mean, there, it's in there, but I've never seen more than three soccer plays in the entire show so far. So, like, there's a lot of hot guys with their shirts off. I will say that. Like, I'm sure women love the show, like, for that. Or not women. People who like men like the show for that. But uh, I don't know. I I think it is good, but it is more drama than I thought. Same with Stranger Things, right? It is definitely more drama. People call it a horror, but I, I, I view it as a drama slash action slash horror altogether. And Ted Lasso, not the drama or action, or not the action part, not the horror part, but it's definitely got the drama and the comedy together. Yeah, I, I think the, for me, it was like the feel good part of ted was uh enjoyable during the heart of the pandemic of like when it was starting you know well yeah it's definitely uh, one of those uh, also sports... just all the stuff happening in the world or whatever at the time too it's definitely it's nice a sports a... like feel, feel good, good show. show yeah absolutely if you've seen any like mighty ducks or any of that like it's got all of that as part i of love it. those movies yeah as a kid yeah, me too. Not as a kid, as an adult. Rocky, like all that stuff, right? I always want to root for the underdog, you know? Yeah, and that and that's definitely part of what Ted Lasso is. It's got that sports drama along with the comedy, along with the whatever. But, like, if you're going in there expecting a laughing good time, it's not that. Like, that's what I thought it might be, but it's not. But it's great. I mean, I've really enjoyed it. And with a seven-day free trial, if it really is only two seasons, you could definitely watch them all. Like it's it's popcorn watching, you know. It's like you go in, you don't have to expect too much. It's exactly what I want in something: thirty, forty minutes, and like in and out, and you're done. Yeah, it's it's a uh, really easy to watch. Uh, it's super popular. I feel like back when uh, it first came out, 
Yeah, and I didn't get Apple Plus till recently. They had some dinosaur series that my son really wanted to watch. Is what is that any good? I love dinosaurs. Um, I feel like my wife and my kids liked it. I did not watch one episode of it because they were like they wanted it. They they got the seven day free trial. I feel like it was one of those times I was out of town, and like they watched all that and like they didn't finish it. So like we we paid for another month. Actually, I think we paid for like two or three extra months. Of course, that's how they always get you. Um, and I was like, well, I keep hearing about Ted Lasso, so I'm going to watch it because July 5th, our subscription expired. So like, I got I got three days to watch the rest of the series. Are you going to subscribe or no? No, we've been subscribed. And that's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. Like, like I got, I got till the 5th is when our subscription expires. So I got like those three days left to finish as much as I can. Gotcha. So, all right, Terrence, we've been all over the place tonight, but in a good way, I feel like, like, I don't know this, this invigorated me more than if we just talked Marvel champions the whole time. So I'm happy. We I mean, I can do that. Place. <laughs> I know you can dude. We'll talk for an hour after the stream about Marvel champions, which is ridiculous. So, all right, Terrence. Well, my daughter does have a swim meet. Uh, I got to leave at 730 in the morning tomorrow with her. Meaning, I, I, I don't know why you do this and stay up. You know you could have left when you were going to the bathroom. I could have. That, w- that, that was, was literally nice. like an hour and a half ago. But That's probably the smart decision for you. I mean, at that point, I literally couldn't think. I had to pee so bad. I haven't yet peed myself, but I've been close several nights, and tonight was one of them. I, like, I just had to go. All right. Well, on that note, on the note of on the note of Peter peeing himself, we're gonna <laughs> say good night. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks. Bye. Cheers. Bye.